Hello! War 3 Champions Finals continue with the FFA part. We've seen amazing 2 on 2, amazing 1 on 1. We've even seen Remo and Carson going head to head. A fight for the ages. And another fight for the ages is awaiting us now in free for all. We got amazing players already qualified for the finals. And we got four more players here in the semi-finals. And we got rulers to tell us all about it on one of the most prestigious FFA tournaments that there is in the scene. Super hyped to have FFA on another day but Monday, but also super hyped to have Rudos by my side. Yo, Neo. Yo. Good evening. That's some excitement. Nice. Of course, of course. It was a nice start already today. And yeah, let's hope we can top that. I was about to say it's a nice start, but everybody knows it really is about the FFA. Can someone dethrone... Liluami is the big question. Yeah, that's the main question. The answer is, of course, no. But yeah, still, <laughs> here we are. We try. <laughs> Just like look. in one on one, when it's about happy and FFA, it's about Lilu. Yeah, really, right? I mean, we've seen so many games, and it looked so often as if Lilu was defeated finally, but then he found a way out and took the victory in the end. So, yeah. I'm very excited if this is going to happen this time as well. I still hope that we can get still um, okay. next week to the finals. He would be qualified, of course, as rank number one with the sickest win rates in FFA ever accomplished. Wow. But yeah, he is so hard to reach, as we already <laughs> mentioned. And yeah, uh, so far... Uh, doesn't look too too nice, but yeah. The latter games of him, the last couple of days were super promising. Like uh, I've seen him win against Bobby with like minus 10k gold. I have seen him win versus Moon in a 1v1. Um, I think he was even behind in gold. So yeah, it would be such a big uh, miss if he wouldn't play, but yeah. Maybe he will. He just uh, needs his time, and then he will be there. And then maybe there is a shot that we can dethrone Lilu. All right. So in the final, it would be still Lilu and Todd. But of course, we can't play a three-way FFA. That's why we have the semifinals here today. We got Seiso, Arenicus, Grady, and Stein. Yes. All right. Stein is joining the lobby and Seiso is joining the Discord. So I see the green lights <laughs> going in the Discord. I mean, yeah, we have to understand for Seiso it's super early. Um, he's also the reason why it's uh, this time now that we start because, yeah, it's 7 a.m. for him and that's exactly when he appears. Welcome Seiso to the lobby and we have our players ready. Perfect. I'm super ready, but uh, before we go into this, we gotta say the uh, crowdfunding for FFA is on a different match arena. It's linked in the uh, grid command. And man, FFA community, as always, going strong when it's about the crowdfunding. We had uh, Bo Ord with $50. We got Kenny, who what? also contributed with uh to the one-on-one -on -one with another fifty dollars and we had zane pang with fifteen dollars that means the prize pool is already at 115 for the ffa uh what? boards oh my god that's amazing wow <laughs> board thank said, you so much guys that's that's super nice <laughs> board wow. said don't give a free win to lelu lol and kenny says lelu champ Arenicus is my sleeper pig. So hopefully Arenicus goes through that our big dono, uh, donor Kenny is happy. That leaves the question, rulers. What map are we playing on and what are the race compositions? All right, I'm just waiting for the readies. As you know, my multitasking is yeah, 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 yeah. always on top. Yeah, yeah, and, perfect. Uh, therefore, I, of course, knew what you were asking me. <laughs> and, yeah, we have... <laughs> 
Uh, we have um, still players uh, switching races here, it looks like, but I think we have settled now on uh, two orcs and two elves. All right. I just want a ready from everyone and then we can start and then we are going to talk a bit about the map, I would say. Alrighty, of course in FFA everything can happen at all time. It's kind of a grab bag. It could be a 30 minute uh, ultra rush. It could be a three hour epic. What kind of game are we expecting here today? I think we will see a long game and we will write some, <laughs> some books about FFA on the go. Because this is a chat game and we have Aranicus uh, Gradient and especially Dain and Seizo we know from the past. He can also talk a lot if he doesn't feel like he's treated properly, <laughs> uh, which rarely people are in FFA. That's right. So without further ado, everybody, FFA semi-final. We have a huge delay in comparison to the Back to Warcraft FFA nights, where it's mostly about streaming. Here it's about competition and therefore uh, don't hate on us when we don't respond immediately. Long, 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 long delay. To introduce the players real quick, we have an interesting situation. At the top in the blue, we got Arenicus as Orc. Next to him, his neighbor, and yes, we're going counterclockwise to throw you off a little bit. We got Say So, maybe the people's champion here in purple. And then we have a Night of Mirror at the bottom side in Teal Stein. And at the bottom right hand side, the legend that is Grady. Very interesting. Yeah, will we see a two versus two? <laughs> will we see top versus bottom? Or will we see the more common. Um, Bottom versus bottom, top versus top, as spawns are close to each other's. And of course, Stein, the one saying no chat, please. <laughs> <laughs> nice start here of the game. Um, all right, <laughs> let's see uh, where this is going. Um, Arenicus, I think, has a very, very, very nice build as an orc, very refined. And then there was Say So yesterday, I think, saying. I think I have the best build as Orc. All right, let's see that. And um, let's see if someone copied from the other. Uh, at the moment, it looks quite similar. Uh, looking at the bases and for the Elves, it's always interesting what they are going to go for. We see Stein here with a fast altar. Very rare with uh, to see him a Demon Hunter play and Gradient as well. So we have a double Demon Hunter. So we will most likely not see a Tinker tonight, which can be good or bad, depending on whether you uh, like the lames or whether you are just preferring the more uh, straight up fights. Uh, but yeah, curious to see because I think that Demon Hunter is quite bad versus the good orcs. Um, as I've mentioned before, we saw Moon playing Demon Hunter, Panda, Priestress and it didn't look great at all against Still. But yeah, let's see what they have planned. Maybe different strategies, different army comps uh, so far from the Orcs. We see mirror image builds uh, for easier creeping and a fast expansion. That is the norm. We have Huntress Halls already. Woo, look at this. Stein. I was wondering about the Huntress Hall early on and now I realize what it's for. It's an AP rush onto Grady? And we see the Demon Hunter being cancelled and switching to an Alchemist, which is not the most common hero you would expect for an early attack. But yeah, Stein, <laughs> I've seen some things from him. Let's put it like this. <laughs> not sure if I want to go into detail too much, but uh, <laughs> it's so tempting. <laughs> I mean, we have a delay. You can trust me, bro. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it was a ladder game <laughs> <laughs> on Market Square with the shortest, ru shortest rush distance in the game. It's like 10 seconds militia rush and he rushed an undead who went for a quest opening build, which means no altar, fast tech and 
he did manage to break this undead, I have to say, unfortunately. What? So Grady is not out yet. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Yo, this has to work for Stein, otherwise he's gonna have a hard time. Starting yeah, but Grady is going for the most greedy opening an elf can do. Look at this, he is solo creeping with a demon hunter here into a quick second expansion. Not even uh, Ancient of War? What? I don't see one that is correct. Wow, so he used he you can really creep this with Demon Hunter only already up uh, on four moon wells and dying here. I think this is something he should be able to to convert into an an early freeway. Uh, of course for a player like Stein who is um, playing for the ultra late game, an early freeway is uh, the, the best thing that he can get um, because mostly the uh, players who are weaker in the micro have a hard time getting into the freeway winning a 1v1 uh, so yeah you can exploit this by going for a <clears throat> for a, an early push so that you can punish the greedy builds and get into the uh, freeway this way and early freeways yeah so much gold on the map we can see a scout here even that's interesting um, so, there's, I guess, yeah, it should be Arenicus scouting this. And I'm not sure, like, did they really mean it seriously with the no chat? <laughs> but, I don't know, yeah, so Radiant far. is not, not chatting so far. Arenicus scouted, also not mentioning it. And yeah, Gradient having to sacrifice this base here. Of course, he can't uh, defend a hunt, uh, ancient protector rush with two, three of lives. Tier two and into no engine of war. Yeah, this looks like a relocation if we ever saw one. Uh, gonna set the delay 10 minutes for the chat so people know. Yo, uh, that tree of ages didn't really work. And instant expansion by Stein to claim that next mine. Grady gets some economy up, but he basically has to rebuild from scratch plus his equipped oh, demon hunter. Okay, last second uh, Naga purchase, so that helps a bit, but still he is back to square one and um, I assume Stein is definitely suspecting the expansion play if there was no engine of one unit, no defense, uh, but the second expansion might be a little bit harder to find and Gradient is really good in surviving, like uh, a lot of talk also in the um, FML Discord about Gradient and his playstyle. Uh, so yeah, he's a resilient fella. Question is, also at this stage where there's not a lot of gold mined and yeah, a player in a four-way on him. Whereas the, the other two have a great time gripping the entire map, can get expansion up and I'm not sure what that means. I'm, I'm versus. Uh, versus bad. Yep. Okay, okay. So yeah, he is revealing the fact that he is rushing now. Uh, yeah, just wants to make sure that no one is going on him. Ooh, is that the round against the Demon Hunter really the best choice you can do? Ooh, yep. Could sacrifice Ooh. the Alchemist for the kill, but yeah, he's but opening it's gonna up. die or TP because yeah, we know. Oh. oh. <laughs> Grady shows who's boss. Okay, I let you live. I have mercy. Go peace. Let's play a normal game. Because, of course, they're sabotaging each other quite a bit. At least Grady is leveling. Yeah, yeah. I told you, that's not over if Stein is uh, rushing with his two tree of lives. Past expansions. <laughs> so, yeah, we have now Shredder also for Grady in place. And those still... Uh, there's still two expansions mining. And tech for Stein not finished yet. Uh, but yeah, of course, Grain still needs a lot of time to rebuild. Uh, not the easiest task. And yeah, in the meanwhile, the orcs have a happy time creeping. And very smart here by Seisu that as he knows the elves are fighting, he is playing it like a 1v1 player, stealing the creeps close to your opponent. And yeah, take yours uh, later because you can and yeah Renik was pretty much doing the same so yeah 200 IQ um, players here and yeah those will be a lot of big items a lot of XP 
and still some very nice backup red camps for them. And of course we know that Orc heroes get really, really, really scary once they reach a high level. Blade Master already fire, well equipped. Do we have marketplaces here or do we have to pay attention? Yes. Oh yeah, the outskirts. Marketplaces are in the corners, four even, so yeah. You can build your Blade Master as you wish, <laughs> which is of course always great if you are an Orc. So yeah, this game, and yes, that's also FFA, as you can see, there is nothing that isn't allowed in terms of strategy, and you have to adjust um, to your opponents, like if they go for an early attack, then you can also go for a rush, like it could be that Caesar is rushing Arenicus, uh, it would also have been a valid play, but of course very tempting, especially for uh, a qualifier like this, for a grand final. Uh, qualifier, you rather go for the safer route, that's at least what I would do. So yeah, let's that's, see how this is going That's for them. not what Stein is doing at all. Uh, kills the second base, does not accept any peace offerings at all, so the orcs are pretty much dominating the map and Grady fighting for survival already proclaims, oh I'm about to die, I don't think the orcs care too much at the moment. Yeah, exactly, like if you're not used to FFA, you might wonder why Arenicus is not taking out this tree of Gradient. Um, but yeah, you always do what makes you win in FFA. Uh, and yeah, at the moment, the best chances to win for Arenicus is getting all the red, uh, red camps out, creep as much as possible. And yeah, let Stein have to uh, waste his time on Gradient. Uh, so yeah, you get more camps and more XP and also more gold. And Grady is getting more damage onto his heroes, has to activate Mana Shield to survive. Helps a bit, but Mana is gone, and Tangle is here too, but the Staff at least. So it's an Alchemist Keeper combo. I don't think yeah, I'm pretty, pretty weird hero combo, but yeah. He definitely thought about this. And yeah, it's also a, a kind of preparation that you can do. Going for a rush, trying to get into the freeway and go from there. And in FFA, in, in the freeway, there are players like, for example, Bobby, for example, still, for example, I think top for the most part, um, who are in the freeway just teaming the weakest and go for a 1v1 because uh, they think that they're, they have the highest chances to win. So, yeah, this is pretty much the risk that Stein is taking. And if they are don't want to go for the 1v1, then Stein can um, yeah, just sit back, mine, hoard, and yeah, balance the game from there, always helping the, the player who is currently behind, and yeah, get himself to victory like this. And that's going to be his preferred uh, playing style for this game, and we will see if this is going to work out, or maybe if Gradient leaves, the Orcs agree to take out Stein, could also be a possibility. So everything can backfire. All right, Grady survives a little bit longer without a shredder though, but we have to take a look at the match arena because the numbers are rising like crazy. Ralphus oh. is coming in with the $20. We need more FFA, less than three. Ralphus always a supporter of FFA every final since we do this. Skimmy is coming in after supporting the one-on-one -on -one with a hundred dollars here, twenty dollars. Not even leaving a comment, just dropping the bucks like that. But the big boy is Get Rich Brothers with one hundred dollars to the pool. Always love the FFA content. Huge donations here, two hundred fifty-five in total now. Wow, wow, that, that's that's so nice of you guys. It's really so unexpected, and yeah, uh, loving it, loving it. Usually Rulers is paying this from his own pocket, that's why he's so happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Saved. <laughs> no, 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 of course I will, I will come in, come in later. <laughs> For sure. And we have a first attack though now by Arenicus. So he says, I'm done with my corner. And that's enough for now. I take the initiative. Always nice to be the first one attacking because you're most likely um, gonna get one expansion out and yeah, get the XP of it. And that's already a big deal. Also, you can split up uh, your units like he's splitting one torrent away to the other expansion. And Seizo, on the other hand, was greedy on 50, so he's not ready for that. 
And yeah, that's the, the punishment for the greed. Arenicus plus one expansion. Hero level wise, I think Seiso is ahead. So yeah, uh, weak Katisi, but Blade Master already level five, which is huge. And we see the counter attacks. So of course, Seiso needs to buy time. He was on 50. Uh, going for the expansion, definitely the, the best choice here until he gets up an army. And but yeah, Torren inside the peasant line, not too nice. And now the question is, what is Arenicus gonna do? Is he gonna go for the next expansion here? Which looks to be the case, as he's not TPing out. Uh, and yeah, he doesn't have to. He's the one with the with the big army, and Seizo is the one who is hoping for a TP trade. Uh, it's not gonna happen. Well, we take and a look at the bottom where the alchemist falls again. <laughs> at least the keeper is still again. able to lose zero. All right. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a hard recover now for Seiso. I mean, looking at the bank, he is uh, ahead uh, at the moment. Uh, but yeah, Arenicus will have a bigger economy. So this is why breaking up keep earlier can also be um, a very big advantage. Yo, at the moment, Seiso's heroes are still better, especially a Blade Master. But in general, I'd say Ooh, Arenicus so does a good job. Lucky he doesn't... Oh, he, ha he has spikes, but they are not affecting your own units. Didn't know that. Huh, didn't know that either. All right, now we have uh, Seizu on 87 supply. Okay, so he is definitely taking this series. Um, and let's see. Uh, should be able to defend with this supply difference and of course also Blade Master. Uh, Huge micro war here. Uh, those orc micro is, is very, very hard. You should dispel the buffs from the other. You should dispel the uh, wards. You should place your own wards. You have to micro your heroes. And yeah, this is just a numbers game, it looks like, in this fight. But it was worth it for Irenicus. Look at the minimap. Say so down to one expansion with one peasant, one peon. And Arenicus on two, or on three even. Wow. So yeah, he's gonna recover way quicker than Seiso now. Yo, he has to get something done. I feel economy gotta carry him for now. While we still debate in the south if they peace or not. At least Stein was thinking about it for a second. Then attacks again. So these, these little rock rats uh, can't keep their hands off of each other. Yeah, and Stein is now even breaking upkeep, which is usually not what you want to do. Like, the big advantage of rushing is that you don't have to break 50, but it feels like it doesn't work out too well here against the two heroes of Gradient with 50 supply. So yeah, let's break upkeep, let's go Chimeras. Uh, hopefully this should work then. <laughs> okay, there is finally peace between the nine and elves. There is peace now even, all right. Yeah, Grady said, do you think you're going to win against two orcs? And then Stein said, Okay, peace. So that was a killing argument here. And then a nice insult afterwards that Stein is the big snoop in FFA. <laughs> like, okay, guys. <laughs> ah, FFA flavor is back and we got a new prime sub. Thank you, Run by Default. And also thank you, Sparta, for the raid. All right, we have a preparation here for a big fight. Pre-buffs, some spirit link. The rest is gonna go during the fight and we have a hex on the TC. Yeah, it's always so hard, like, what, what to do in these fights. Ooh, the Blade Master! Ah, focus here from the Torren. That's a big loss here for Aaron, who wasn't in high upkeep. So this is now big trouble, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so I, I really love already dominated the first fight, now the second one as well. Hero levels, of course, big indicator. 5 4 th 3 versus 4 3 3. And yeah, this is not getting weaker, man, without the Blade Master. Is the punch you know? nice and move? As hard as it needs to. Now, the Shadow Hunter, a little bit out of position, saves himself. Yeah, and the Rankos really needs to uh, macro up here. There is nothing at the tavern, which is, of course, very bad now after losing the Blade Master, but yeah, four towers are up and Focus Fire is mostly on the Wyvern, which is uh, perfect. So yeah, is this defendable here with the tower? Advantage. 
That is the big question, I guess for now. Say so grinding his teeth. He's, perf he's perfectly at 80. So that should be fine, but yeah, the base is very much exposed. Yeah, and now we have it the other way around. The expansions of Aranicus are getting taken out while Seizo is capturing two of his own, getting them back. And Stein is some 58 supplies, so he he peaced but didn't cancel the Chimeras. Maybe needs them for creeping, but it's, I think too much. And we have the first announcement of Aranicus that he's, he's dead. Let's see if he's gonna be still in the game in two hours. A player's forces are under attack. Seiso calls out the lie immediately. Arenicus surely has some gold. As they're all in upkeep. Grady is slowly getting an economy together. Oh, we have the first blade storm of the game. And Arenicus is indeed suffering hard. Yeah. I never know if a bladestorm like this is a waste. It's, it buys you time, which means that there is less mining top right. You are quicker uh, over there. And yeah, maybe he's not gonna be scared of a fight anytime soon. There's but six. yeah, let's see. The supply number 68 versus 78. Yeah, Seizo can pretty much do whatever he wants, kind of dictates the north. Eren has an expansion bottom left, that's kinda sneaky, probably the other players won't expect that. And Grady is constant. wait, Grady is completely out of gold while being in no upkeep, I guess still rebuilding then, but Stein, the piece has been broken. Yeah, Stein has to be careful though, because he has no scout on the other side of the map, I think, and <laughs> if there would be a major uh, loss here, for Aaron in this case, then Stein is suddenly just losing the game. Uh, so yeah, I think Stein needs Grady to recover a bit, but he might not realize what's happening on the other side of the map. But yeah, for now it looks like Aranicus managed to stabilize and Seizo is moving to the other side of the map, so maybe this is a little bit of a piece. We will see in a second whether Seizo agrees to it or not. Writing nothing can also be interesting, by the way. Like writing nothing in pieces is, is nice, and writing nothing and uh, attack is pretty much the standard. Because now Arenkus isn't sure, like, hmm, should I build an army? Should I try to go even over 80 supply? Because I'm behind in hero levels. Uh, so yeah, he can't be sure. All right, both try to get the aggro of the orcs on to each other. Stein is pretty rich, so the hoarder is back. The yeah, only one back standing out, yeah, the only one standing out in levels is say so Stein, obviously the weakest, and that is with an alchemist being somewhat of a win condition. Yeah, exactly. Like if Aranicus is, is out, there is no way they can two v one against Seizo, so Stein is playing a little bit with fire here. But for now he has very nice uh, four expansions up and being on 50, so that's the best uh, situation he can be in at the moment. And yeah, still have to be careful that uh, none of the orcs is dying anytime soon, before they aren't really rich. Interesting situation. Not, no game plan really working out. Like, Seiso would have loved to have a little bit more peace. Arenicus would have been more successful with his attack. Stein's game plan, of course, completely failed with Grady still being in the game. But Grady also un unhappy because he got rushed this early. So nobody really expected the game to go the way it does. Oh, there was a sneaky expansion by Aaron and got scouted here. So there is still no peace, and that's gonna be mean that Aaron is also going for an attack here on 72 supplies, so low on Lumber all the time because his Shredder, I think, even got killed twice. Ouch. Yeah, that is expensive. I was talking about yeah. it. Will people expect this expansion bottom left? Apparently not. We got another sub. Thank you for the Prime, Trova. 
Much appreciated. TP coming in, Aaron has to be very careful. It's a little bit of a late TP, but okay, Seizu's not TPing on top of him and the expansion revives. That's bad news for Aaron. Uh, that puts him even farther behind of Seizu. And Seizu 98 supply, so that's always a statement. That means that he's going for the throat, otherwise he wouldn't need it. And Aaron still lumber stuffed, even though the Shredder is working overtime already. And yeah, far away from a, from a hundred. Ooh, that's I a problematic situation watched, yeah. for Aaron. Oh man, not getting that expansion. That was it was kind of weird, right? One of the illusions wasn't portaling with the rest, but then of course easily cleaned up. That is a lot of mining time for Stein and lo a lot of rebuild time for Grady. And say so is just looking for our another victim. Yeah, the only disadvantage for Seizo is his gold count. Like, he doesn't have a bank. So if he kills Aaron on paper, there is nothing that Stein and Graydon can do with the hero level disadvantage. Uh, but yeah, let's see first this fight here. Uh, but yeah, it's minus 20 supply, minus a lot of hero levels. Seizo is already prepared, pre-buffed his army. This can't work out for Aaron. Oof, running into the stasis traps now. Look at this, nothing is attacking. And there's the blade storm on top. That's just a very, very nice execution here by Seiso, the entire game. Out of bed, onto the throne, that's more torrent falling for Eren as well. Shadowhunter in trouble, Invo Potion Stomp on the other side, but Eren's blade is like, he's kind of powerful, but apparently not powerful enough. Now torrent versus torrent action, Stomp, Pulverize, everywhere, everything. Now Seiso getting out, did he get some munchies? Of I... Nope, that Kodo Beast empty belly. It was Aaron with the town portal. Sorry, yeah, he had to get out. 25 foot down still. At least he's getting some experience, but not really necessary. And now, of course, it's time to revive everything that died. Yeah, the beauty here of the Spirit Walker Master training. And also the hero level is now pretty crazy. 655. Five, five. So yeah, the elves have to be careful because Orc is very hard to team and because they can just uh, they have so many disables with Stomp, Hex and Snare, Perch. Uh, but yeah, Aaron fighting for survival, which I don't think he can, at least not in this position with this army. Ooh, poor Aaron. And he's getting stomped. If the heroes fall, this might be his end already. Everything is in deep red territory. This Blade Master is going to town on Seiso's side. Oops, there's the kill. And with that... Wait, was that not the kill? Was that an illusion? Yeah. Okay, sorry, the blue is confusing. Um, so for now he lives, retreating into the towers. But man, does he need these heal wards. Yeah. And also being lumber, lumber stuffed the entire game makes it that he, that he doesn't even have spikes. So yeah, that's also not helping out. And it looks like no mana for this juicy hill ward. <laughs> Desperately asking for peace. Saves on 2.5k gold. So that's that's not really a lot. Like he, if he kills Aaron, then he knows that he has to fight a two, a one versus two for at least a bit. Ooh. And Seizo talking about getting rushed. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, solo player standards. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, I don't know. He tries to turn this on Aaron, but was it really that bad? The creep spots were mostly gone. What they couldn't have done anything. Um, yeah, could have maybe I mean... agreed to fight rather than just moving across, but. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's always a lot of fake angriness in everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, not everything. Don't believe everything. <laughs> Especially not from say so. And another attack. Then onto the shredder. Oh no! Does he leave the shredder alone? Yeah, he leaves Grady alone. 
just onto the workers. Yet another mine. Man, just a game of whack-a-mole for say so. Yeah, and also gradients always having a hard time finding spots to to recover. A player's forces are under attack. And yeah, gradient I think killed a tree here of Stein. <laughs> but yeah, Stein is not in the position uh, to be angry on on anyone. He needs any help that he can get. Even though he is on 10k gold, that's pretty much nothing with level 4, 3, 2. Kinda crazy how Stein was able to stay on 50 the entire time because Grady and Agus, uh, Arenikos and Seiso are fighting, so he's at 11k. It's pretty much, in the end, it's kinda like exactly the way he wanted it to, just with Grady still in. Yeah, true. Ooh, there's the Blade Master going down. That's a big kill, finally. Oops. I was uh, fixated on the Night Elves. Yeah, it was a very nice uh, Hex Stomp. And full focus with towers. And okay, there's an Ankh on the TC, so he's kind of back, but only for so long, I guess. We keep our attention at the Orc Mirror as another hero might be falling. The heal wave clutched the stomp as well, trying what? to buy time. Sick save by Say So. Wow. We call him Safe So. Wow, that was unexpected. The animosities are rising between <laughs> Stein and Grady. But yeah, Say So, if that TC dies. Um, that's of course a problem because the opponent is always going to be faster than you are, but like that, no chance to do anything for Aaron. Yeah, and Seizo is just pumping, 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 always back to 100. Uh, because I thought like maybe it's time to go on 80 and try to kill Aaron from there and uh, with all the bases in the back, uh, get a bank to fight the 1 versus 2 afterwards. Um, He's 100, waiting for the Blade Master and the reinforcements, I guess, and then he's gonna go for the next and most likely final push, as I don't see Eren defending one more time here with what he has. Not even 50 supply. Yeah, that is a bit rough. He's trying to build more bases. His mine, yeah, it's almost empty. Ooh, that's harsh. And you can't really survive with a 1k bank and 50 food. Nice hero levels here by Seiso. Um, level 6 uh, TC is missing still. This would be another big improvement. And from there he's pretty much... Ooh, the Blade Master here. This could be if the TC gets in range. Could be it. Oh, Ooh. such a long duration here of this Hex. Is it level 3 even? Oof. I got big back Voodoo, and I okay. doubt that he's gonna skip heal wave. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Another base down. And yeah, Aaron desperately needs help asking for it. Yeah. Not sure if he's getting it as Stein is busy taking out the other expansion of uh, Gradient. I'm not sure, man. I think he will need Gradient more than the, I'm not sure, couple of thousand gold of this mine. And Grady desperately trying to slow Stein down to not attack him the entire time, but yeah. doesn't really help, so he can't do anything about this orc mirror. Can't save Eren. We got another mirror here in Eren's base, and this is so hard to hold, man. Another blade storm. Yeah, this new blade storm. First they buff the duration and then the damage. It's a little bit rough, <laughs> but it is what it is. And yeah, it's a nice tool to kill units and buildings. Oh, but the Ooh. blade master. Yeah, it's false again. He, but the, the other side, the other blade. Yep. Oh, Ooh. 20 HP. He survives the other heroes though. What about the TC? Oh, what about the shadow? Red and he's completely out of mana. Heal ward is ready now, but where to plant it? <laughs> it is the TC, and yeah, without the TC, the aura is gone, and 
Oh, he's not chasing, chasing further. Now the heal ward can be planted. Oof. Stein finally <laughs> asking Grady to peace, but I mean, hmm, he is overestimating what Grady has, maybe. And Stein should, yeah, really go and say so yesterday. And I think it, it is what he finally does. They have to go for a 3 1 now, they still might have a chance. Um, but yeah, the snowball is rolling. Yeah, looking really good for Seiso so far, but with Chimeras you should have a very solid shot against this army with lots of Tauren. Maybe that's a potential for Stein to get his hero levels up in a big fight, if he then also decides to finally build an army. Uh, but yeah, our bank is looking better and better as well, because Kilgrim with the five gifted subs for the community. Thank you! Yeah, Aaron trying to do what he can with the Shadow Hunter and the Tauren. Trying to slow down, say so. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, not even Grady is going on on say so because yeah, I can understand because say so is close to his uh, tier three and it's already has been scouted. So as soon as Grady would attack say so, say so is heading towards the right hand side. But yeah, on the other hand, there is not much alternative, uh, as Stein is doing nothing. I'm not sure even where his heroes are. Oh, chilling on the right. Yeah, he's not and doing items. anything the entire time. Thank you, Hexdad, for the sub. And uh, that's the tier 3 gone. It's a bit annoying. And I wouldn't mind, or I wouldn't blame Aaron to leave the game. His base is wiped. piece all yeah that's something you can say <laughs> it <laughs> mostly doesn't work yeah Grady is struggling for gold and army and levels Stein has the gold but nothing else and Aaron Aaron has almost no buildings no more yeah and Stein is still on gradient so I mean, I can see Stein thinking like, oh, I'm on almost 20k gold. So let's, uh, let's say so kill Aaron, I take out Gradient and then I will easily win the 1v1 with the gold advantage. But bad news that Seizo is also already on 7k gold and 10k gold difference. That's not even what helps to get um, Stein to level 6, I think. And the Renicus like. was defeated, no building left anymore. We are indeed down to a three-way. Seiso versus Stein versus Grady, who are still fighting. So Seiso can just get even richer. Exactly. He's on 90 supply though, so he's expecting to get teamed, yeah. which is fair. <laughs> but yeah, I think 100 supply is gonna be hard to stop even with because yeah I mean Stein can be as rich as he wants he only can get up to 100 supply as well and <laughs> bad news that uh, Gradient had to TP out and Oof. yeah into Demon. Seiso who is now 776 and Gradient 2.5k gold and then down to one tier one base yeah, that's Having nothing. to start from scratch pretty much again as the bed on the top is taking out the moon wells and yeah, the rest of the buildings are already on the way where Seizo is gonna go anyway. So yeah, time for Stein to shine. Oh, damn, that was a good one. Yeah. Working on the yeah. rhymes, I like. Yeah, that's a tricky situation, man. Um, I guess Stein wants to squeeze out as much as possible, but now going into army with talents and chimeras and bears. Will his heroes survive longer than a second against 776 on the orc side? Yeah, that's the question. Good luck um, from my end. And yeah, that's the hard part now uh, from in FFA. Yes, you are ahead. Yes, uh, 
you are in a very 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 good position but still there's a very big map with a lot of gold mines a lot of gold and two players teaming up on you can perfectly coordinate so yeah you have to perfectly split armies and make very quick decisions to avoid them teaming up and coordinating too much rebuilding too much and yeah that's now what Seizo has to go has to be really careful uh, diligently placing down his wards to yeah, do exactly what he's doing now, intercepting the heroes so that he's pretty much down to a 1v1, which is almost the case now. Oh yeah. I'm not sure, Stein. Maybe you overestimated here your chances with your gold. Only 10k ahead and so far behind on hero levels. And he also didn't do a really good preparation. Like in the meantime, he could have built and uh, uh, hide a tree of life for example over there and then immediately after Irenicus is out uh, mass TP <laughs> pretty much uh, with 100 supply chimeras and catch Seizo off guard but yeah none of this happened and now they are trading bases I guess yeah feels like orc level 6 oh Stein that's a late realization yep Zazel <laughs> <laughs> is doing Ooh, what he can. And the... Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay. AOE here. But it didn't kill that much, did it? Oh, it did. Yeah, it did. But yeah, still a long way to go for Stein here. Yes, he has a big base, so this base is also worth a lot of gold. <laughs> this base is gigantic! Yep. So the question... <laughs> but only gold fed, I guess. Says was having a good time. Yeah, for sure. A player's forces are under attack. Is Grady going to be a factor or is Seiso going to steamroll everyone is the question. Yeah, back to 99 supply and yeah, Grady is needing bases and yeah, Stein has to <laughs> he TPs even. So yeah, he's not giving Grady any foot back into this game, it looks like. Well, could also be solid XP. Oh, I feel like Stein's realization is way, way, way too late. Jesus. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, we'll see. Says we're currently a little bit slow. So remember what I said. Says is to be really fast now because it's an obvious one versus two. Yeah. So you can add up all the bases that uh, the elves have, and you have two players uh, maneuvering. So it's not easy, it's not easy. You can get torn apart pretty quickly, uh, especially against Chimeras, who do great damage. And as long as Seizo has to uh, TP back every time and is just trading TPs for TPs, ideally even losing a base every now and then, and it's going not well for, for Seizo. So yeah, let's see how he can manage this situation now. And at some point he'll stop scaling or improving. He's running around with a hundred, not getting that much done, but finally hitting a base once again. After kinda ignoring Grady. Here we go, is Stein willing to fight? He's only at 84, he really shouldn't. No, no, he should never defend only his main base. Yeah. Cause there he can win, uh, but yeah. Else he just has to go, 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 always on say so, force him back, make him TP. And yeah, so far it's not working out too bad. Like also spawn locations are nice now that uh, Stein is at the op opposite side of the map from say so. So say so has long travel distance. And yeah, Stein has a lot of gold. So if say so is taking out expansions, it's not really hurting too much. Um, and the main base is uh, at the moment still unbreakable. So yeah, so, uh, Seizo doesn't have this 100% uh, uh, yet. Oh, the bats detonate. Chimeras? Nope. Saving it yeah, for later. It be a waste. Most likely they would just damage them. Yeah. 
And yeah, uh, Caesar also uh, during all this time on 100 supply, so almost no income. And Grady on 50, and now finally he should get up also the right hand side base. So yeah, that brings him at the moment back to free expansions on 50. Uh, so yeah, still can make things happen, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that Stein should take the direct engagement ever. As a very strong army against what Seizo has, I would say, though. But still a hero level, so I don't see it. I don't see it working out. I mean, Bladesorm can't really do too much on the ground. In general, he can't really Ooh, do too much on the broke. ground. And Heavy the hero oh, no. is melting! Okay, exclamation wow. mark. The hippos are still in this, though. This could be 10 supply falling. Only gets one. Okay, that's XP. That's exactly what he needs. Converting uh, gold uh, to XP and then get level 6 and then slowly selling Seizo. Seizo is not getting too much gold because he's on high upkeep. And yeah, so yeah. There is maybe still hope. Gradient is also getting a lot of time now. Like, I'm sure for the next 5 minutes no one is gonna go on Gradient and that's... That's 10, maybe 10k gold for Gradient. Yeah, well, then so yeah, it's a little bit slow here. I, I, I told you, you have to be very, very quick if you are 1 versus 2. Um, every minute that you're not using efficiently, um, the others will just come back exponentially almost. Speaking of back, Blade Master's back. Trying to do some damage here, maybe cleaning up from right to left. But also some towers diminished. Grady is indeed a factor. But yeah, next base taken out. And yeah, Cesar is still smart. He is chatting. So that Gradient can't be sure that Cesar is strongest. But of course, Gradient has a lot of experience. And also he has an owl. So he knows what's what's going on. Also, he saw the hero levels of Orc. I mean, he pointed out how strong Seiso is. Uh, that yeah. Aranicus was still in the game, so <laughs> he knows pretty much what's going on. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> there was a rush yep. against two Tree of Lives and yep. suddenly Gradient is in the freeway. As if you understand this FFA game mode to a degree. Uh, maybe I just know Stein. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is Russian competence. A town is under siege. But yeah, now uh, I have to say now he's uh, playing really well. He d does exactly what he has to, not taking too many straight up engagements, going for the expansions, uh, use the utility of the chimeras, which is being good against everything, especially against buildings, though. And now says has to be careful because if Chimeras are close to your tier 3, you better TP quickly. But mm -hmm. Seizo currently sees moon wells, full moon wells, and feels the juice literally of, from killing them. But yeah, just in time he TPs back, killing the moon wells. And yeah, now this looks like a fight that he can't take. And yeah, he's TPing out. Okay, so relatively conservative with his bats, keeps some of them alive, and apart from that, it was relatively even, I would say. Not the craziest losses, the chimera roosts are not producing, nothing's producing really. Very nicely timed TP. Yeah, I really have to say, like Stein is, make, is, is playing really smartly now. Um, he's just focusing stuff with the chimeras, using his hero abilities and then TPing out. As the Chimeras do a lot of damage, and yeah, he never loses too much, but always kills some low HP units like Casters and Torren um, against Chimeras, of course, low HP. Now he's on Grady. Exactly, we're one hour in the game, Grady tries to build his third base. <laughs> Ooh, but look top right, I mean, Grady is recovering, he's on 6k gold, and that's a tier 3 tech. That's Yeah, that's... 
That's what, what I mean. Like, like he's building. His, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a base. I mean, Stein and say so. They're kind of busy with each other. Maybe turning a blind eye on Grady isn't the smartest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that we have a game here now. It looked very over, right? Yeah. Even from uh, my experience. But yes, this was a bit slow. Then there was some sloppy hero losses, and suddenly um, the others can recover. But now the, this is a very expensive trade for Stein. He still has gold. And but yeah, a lot of APs falling. But still, a very decent base. Taking out expansion of Seso is worth a lot. That's some more XP. Yeah, Chimera is really, really good against these walk ground units. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's just dying everything. Traded for one Chimera. So big value units lost. Seso down to 60 only. Grichosa, yeah, thank wow. you for the sub. 57 supply and uh, Stein is catching up in hero levels here. Very quickly and very efficiently, honestly. Like, this shouldn't go this direction, <laughs> honestly. Thanks. And now Graydon is also on Seizo first time, pretty much. Yeah. Like, I was expecting that they have to heavily team Seizo, but so far Stein is holding the 1v1 quite well without uh, Gradient. And yeah, Graydon is pretty much fully back. He is a decent a Demon Hunter level, at least. And he is not being attacked. And still on 50 and 7k gold. A nice recovery so far. I agree. Feels a bit confident. Say so. Oh, Grady goes into the Great Hall of Say So. Nice scout. And only 6.4k. Grady also, for the first time, building an army. He still has. <laughs> Talent Adept Upgrade, still not researched after an yeah, hour. So fun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and with Seiso, you never know what's manip and yeah. is he really totally. tilted? Like, he left some finals slash semi-finals when there were definitely chances to win the game. Yeah, I think he's always underestimating his position a bit and therefore maybe also not uh, pushing too hard as he should have here uh, but yeah it was it was rough it was a hard army to beat and now Seizo is on gradient which means Stein here on 14k gold 100 supply in a very good position ante portas of Seizo that's right oh boy okay Seizo says Grady so like that's it you recovered too much, but Stein didn't realize that Seiso is on the other Night Elf and he continues to punish Seiso. Yep, and Seiso can't really defend, he can't even TP because this is just way too much supply. Smart here going 100 mm. supply. And yeah, we said it before Fortress doesn't look too tanky. Oh man. We have these mirrors in this war. And yeah, uh, on the upside, I would say, Gradient is going to scout the main base of Seizo falling, so this should make them peace. The question is, if Seizo is still peacing or if he is saying like, no, now it's too late. Yeah. He uh, holds quite... Something that he really likes to do. Exactly. It's, it's likes really to weird that it's too late in FFA. So, and Seizo doesn't realize it oftentimes. And yeah, there's nothing like a peace offer of Gradient either. Did the Stein getting away with the win after Huntress rushing Gradient in the beginning? Yeah. Because there's like barely any prep for Cecil, right? He has some peons on the map, but with Orc it's kind of hard. A town is under siege. Oh, Grady on Stein now. Momentum is shifting a bit. Yeah, but I think Seizo is still going for Gradient. Yep. Uh oh. I think mean, it was bad communication also by Grady. Like, he, sh he should have said, okay, stop peace immediately. Yeah, okay, now he does at least. Oh, that's level 6 Alchemist. Ooh, the richest player just got transmute. 
That's rough. And that's a typical say so thing. Like we can't win now, but maybe he's still piecing, and that's at least he's not sparing Stein. So there's hope left that say so is still fighting and still playing for win. Okay, now. Okay, and I think say so is. Oh, it's always hard to say, as you said before. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Still fighting. Okay, he's, there we go. Maybe he's not too far off with his. It's not estimation. looking like he wants to kill Grady. So yeah, that yeah. Okay, he's officially piecing now, and it's gonna be rough. Okay, he's taking tier two, tier two, but that's not gonna work out. And oof, getting low on peons as well. Town is under siege. <laughs> A player's forces are under attack. Killing another base with Chimera is so easy. We have Zeppelins in the air for say so to hide. He is getting some damage done, and Grady. Yeah, Grady. <laughs> Trying to build a fourth base, I guess, somewhere. All right, so we have a rare one versus two for Stein here now. <laughs> Let's see how he can manage the situation. Um, so, so yeah, I think Seizo should now uh, stop talking. Radiant should stop talking. Both know what's what's on, and yeah, just now try to win. And this is still such a huge base for Stein. All these moon worlds, all this production, all the gold. Say so. Yeah. And yeah. He should now be happy if Stein TPs. All right. Okay. So that saves two great halls with, I think, the last two peons. Oh, there's one uh, bottom left hand side. So yeah. Now <laughs> we go again, I guess. There is so many gold mines. There is now two versus one. And Stein is the one that is on a timer and has to be yeah. quick now before the others can recover. And yeah, it's also not going to be easy for Stein. Like if Seizo would finally stop typing and play smart. Yeah, but now they are again fighting for expansions and now Seizo is killing Gradient's expansion and now Gradient might be angry and kill Seizo. So that, that's that's not how it works, <laughs> guys. <laughs> no, not against someone who has this army and an alchemist. And it's not yeah, like Grady has the craziest and... hero combo to whittle down a base. Like, no Panda, no Tinker. You have right bases. Uh, not really. All right. Um, he has no Witch Doctor left, I say so. That's really painful because otherwise there would be perfect information on Stein's movement. And yeah, now Stein is on 11k gold, and yeah, as we said, he needs to move quick, but Seizo is always attacking the main of Stein, which is pretty much forcing the TP back, and yeah, Stein would need to do more splitting. I don't think Chimera, he's going to... Like also Lilo does. So yeah, for now this is all buying time here, what Seizo is doing. And yeah, it looks like we have a game again, and the chat has settled. <laughs> and they finally can be friends again. And yeah, we have a base uh, going for say so. This can be a big controversy, controversy though, <laughs> because say so desperately needs a second base. You got one but, on the left yeah, hand side as well. Say so's gonna mine on the left hand side. Six K still in. Yep, there are more mines left that no one is taking. So everyone wants the bases from the other. And there are now the APs, the MVPs, moving to the right hand side here free. And yeah, Seizo is doing uh, a nice job buying more time. But yeah, there's a level 6 alchemist, so very careful with your army. Yeah, and Grady, what can he do with this hero combo? 
In general, like, the only thing he's really good at is, like, hero focus. But it's 888 yep. orc heroes. Like, how, how good of a focus can you build with, the, with what you got? Yep, there goes another transmute. A player's forces are under attack. But yeah, Stein should have a quite rough time because he's never gonna get back an expansion. At least he shouldn't. Maybe this is natural. Yeah, it's the only one that he can uh, defend here. And the other expansions are quite far away, so there is still a recover potential. And yeah, Sazen Micring nice now. And there is Gradient. This could be some nice uh, support damage here by Gradient. There we go. But yeah, also all the Vyvern seem to die against this heavy air army. Uh, heat wave, alright. So that's more supply going down for Stein. And he is now back to 78 supply. So yeah, maybe the game is also not over now. <laughs> okay, feels a bit uh, deliberate to go back to upkeep, not high upkeep. Uh, look like donations and you can still tear bases apart on Seiso side. Yeah, and Stein is now on four digit in four digit territory in terms yep. of gold and it always feels like when you're in this situation with no more income, it feels like oh man, it's not going yep. too well anymore. Yeah. Plus the blade storm is getting rid of like thousands of value. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Soon Grady is going to be the richest. Yeah, and Gradient has a tier 3 up and mining from two bases. Ooh, I, I still don't know where this game is going. Like nope. it, <laughs> first It's a wild like, ride, dude. I don't make any predictions. For sure Stein wins and now Gradient still has a shot. That's how I like my FFAs. It's a wild roller coaster. I just, uh, you know, join the cart, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. Yep, exactly. So, how much gold is left on the map? So, this one is 2k here. So, the one, the choosy one is pretty much this one. And even the natural of Stein is still quite juicy. Jimbomon, thank you for the sub. I was just uh, trying to propose. If you guys need something to do in when the action is ebbing down a little bit, how about Star Trek Fleet Command? Exclamation mark star in the chat for the affiliate link. But Ooh, the Shadow Hunter. Yeah. That's always the best target here with the entangle. Jimbo. All right. Getting rid of Mare uh, or Hippos. Not sure if that's the best targets. But yeah, at least saving the Shadow Hunter. Keeper though, still in range on the TC, which means either the invul or the ult will pop. And it's gonna be the ult for now. And yeah, Seizo is putting on the pressure on Gradients that he sh should help him. And yeah, TC is now forced into an in invul as well. But yeah, Seizo on 5k gold, that's decent resource. Ooh, Ooh, but he hexes the, oh, the keeper too late hexed and the heal wave also too late. And now the drunken haze here, slowing down the shadow hunter. And the keeper soon is gonna be in range of the shadow hunter. <laughs> Close. At least Grady is doing something, but I mean, it's just three single target heroes hitting a base of like a million buildings. It's really not Ooh, meaningful. Ooh, a hex though. So that's by buying more time now. Keep in mind, losing a level 8 hero is only like 400 gold to get it back. And yeah, there's so much value um, that Gradients can do, that the mining does for them. So yeah, I hope that Seizo is really not losing his temper here. Yeah. Like, when even the casters are getting manipped sometimes, um, I don't know. I, I could see Seizo leaving in two minutes yeah, or this exactly. all being a play. Because also Gradient is not talking. Like if Gradient at least said I'm on him or something, then Seizo doesn't feel so alone. Yep. The town is under siege. 
But Grady is building an army at the top. It's coming. Oh, and Ce uh, Caesar's Blade Master here is getting two Chimera kills now on top, as Stein was busy with. I'm not sure. His macro. Oh no, with the Shadow Hunter kill that he still doesn't get. But the Shadow Hunter pretty slow. And the Ultra Vision, of course, helping out a lot. Also the boots and on now, the people finally. Gonna get rid of the Shadow Hunter. There's one heal wave in a second, but still the boots. Might take care. There's still a TP transfer possible if the Blade Master comes in time. In Wubai, is it on cooldown though? Nope. All right, and now boots for the Shadow Hunter as well. But he has to use it. Run. No, that's too slow. Oh, but then comes another mana potion for well, infinite mana. And I'm not sure Gradient is just Killing Ancient of Winds and Lores and stuff. Yeah, but his army is coming. Like, it's gonna be a surprise to most. Grady has 80. Grady is, has the biggest army by far. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice catch. <laughs> yeah, if a player goes silent, then it's always pretty dangerous. Call it the least. And yeah, Stein losing more and more army on the way. This <laughs> single Blade Master here. Getting so much done here, wow, so much damage. Level 9 now. But... What's Grady doing? Like, he knows the heroes of Seiso are gonna be the biggest danger later. His mm -hmm. hero combo is better in Hero Arena than Stein's hero combo. What a Shadow Hunter though! Runs ah! straight into the arms. Dude, is he just gonna eliminate Seiso? And then what? Yeah, then I'm curious <laughs> if Gradient would win. Like, yeah, I'm still not sure. Like, Zezo is <laughs> so unpredictable whether he's gonna leave it or not. But yeah, I hope he's gonna play fully for win, which it looks like he totally is at the moment. But yeah, he's also gonna underestimate Gradient as his army is still, and his rebuild is still unscouted. And yeah, this Blade Master, man, I tell you. So many uh, Chimera kills already, and there's pretty much nothing that uh, Gradient can do against this single Blade Master because he can mirror image out of uh, acid bombs, out of entangles, and then just uh, not mirror image, but uh, yeah, mirror image, right? That's the army, man. <laughs> it's moving. Yeah, it's a huge air army. Ooh. Yeah, little do you know, Seizo, how confident Gradient suddenly came. Alter down. No more easy revives or cheap revives. Dicey. Dude, Grady was almost out. Yeah, I mean, he, he got hunt pushed with three Tree of Lives and yep. the Demon Hunter. Yep. <laughs> And somehow managed to survive. Ah, say so the 20k is gone. <laughs> and and yeah, that's what so many people think about Gradient that he's just stubbornly uh, taking out who was trying to eliminate him. But yeah, you can we can see here that it's definitely not the case. He has a clear plan of how he's winning the game. And yeah, pretty deceptive. Players forces are under attack. Shaving away some towers, getting some wisps. Yeah, we're reducing the number of buildings we got on the map. A town is under siege. It feels a bit like Seiso is desperately trying to not get hit by Grady soon. Mm, yep. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it really sucks here being in Seiso's position. You have an ally that's not talking. 
And you are on one hero. And now you see the base and think like, oh, nothing happened there. Yeah. There, was, there was no real help here. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, you will see it. <laughs> Great untouch. Yep, that's right. Yeah, and Cesar always thinks that he is, uh, he is right. Like he has the perfect um, information. He is rebuilding, so... It's not giving up or anything, but yeah, Grady, I don't know, 20 years of FFA? Yep. He'll, he'll know what's up. He's not getting pressured, really. Yeah, he, he's play, playing very calm and composed. But yeah, I mean, it's still not looking too too good for, for Gradient. Like, 7 versus 7, 6, 6 heroes. Also, Stein still 13k gold, biggest base by far. So yeah, uh, Gradient still needs say so. I, guess, yeah, I mean, he, he can hit the base forever. It's like, it's not doing anything. Yeah, but as long as the Alta is not getting scouted, Sazer is still not out of this game with 5.2k gold. Uh, getting up another great haul here. Grady has no income no more, right? Okay, he's going up 200. This mm -hmm. has gold. And he knows. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, now the TP back of Stein. Who is on 46 supply only? So yeah, we'll also consume a lot of gold to get to 100. Another Chimera falling here. It's so, all too many losses for Stein, I feel. It's so expensive. Yeah, yeah. Just surviving. Falling apart a little, slowly but surely. Oh. And Stein wants a piece of Grady. Grady is preparing something, man. He's gathering his army. He's out of the yeah. corner. Something's coming now. Who's he gonna hit? Players' forces are under attack. <laughs> and yeah, the time <laughs> for Stein. It's like <laughs> it's such a kindergarten. You will win. No, you will win. Yeah, take yeah, the yeah, pressure yeah. off of me. No, take the pressure off of me. <laughs> I feel like they underestimate how big of a bank Grady had before building this army. Yeah. But yeah, it's just a matter of time now when they will see Gradient's army. Yeah. And Gradient is still a little bit uncertain if it's time to show it already. Because once he shows his one supply, he knows that he's gonna be one versus two. Pretty much certainly, depending on Seizo's mood though. But yeah, for now, Seizo is still playing perfectly fine uh, for his win. And also he's mining, like, plus 2k gold, that uh, would put him in a nice position to get back more heroes throughout the uh, rest of the game. And now the army should be scouted. Yeah. At least and by Stein. Be quick now, yeah. But yeah, I wonder why Stein is not even mentioning it. Okay, now he is at least reacting and um, building back some hippos. Only three Ancient of Winds. So, yeah. Maybe Gradient just... Yeah, maybe Gradient took out all the Ancient of Winds that he could, so that there is not enough anti-air in time now against this push. But yeah, now Gradient is again the one who has to be quick. <laughs> First we had Seizo, then Stein. Yeah. Both missed their shot, and now Gradient is... It's Gradient's uh, chance to prove, and yeah. Oof, that's so much. We are, so little. We are playing hot potato. Let's go onto the keeper. That tranquility doesn't really help. At least the hero is still alive. But now 
We try these hippos, man. They don't have the best chance. Level 7 for Stein. Let's go. But we got Ooh. Metamorphosis up. It's also a lot of experience, obviously. And Stein still not any chats, I wonder. Yeah. Oh, the Chimera is going, for the, he's going for the tree, but he's losing so many Chimeras for it. Yeah, so many Moonwells, they are doing their job. Ooh, okay. Oh, Grady is losing 50 food. Yep, uh, this didn't look like it would end this way. Okay, and now Cezo sees it. And Cezo sees that Gradient has an army with him and a red army, so it's pretty credible that he lost everything. And yeah, now uh, Cezo is scouting it. He's also scouting that uh, Stein is still producing. So yeah. Gradient will be spared from teaming for some more time. And taking a look at the bank, Cezo is going up in numbers. Okay, yeah, 5k, not bad. It's gonna be all evened out. Another base disrupted. Stein is not gonna get uh, this one. Alright, so we have no one mining in a second. The last 350 code for Say So, and we are in island territory. <laughs> of course, we are. So yeah, there goes the bank of Stein, pretty much. Back to 7.7 .7 and not too far ahead from Seizo, who ha has, keep in mind, still the highest heroes. But of course is very low in buildings. <sighs> yeah, that was a great uh, turn of events for Seizo. Uh, both Stein and Graydon losing a lot of their armies. I still don't uh, know who has the lead here now. I mean, should be say so mm. again eventually. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, say so is so low on buildings. That's his only weakness and also quite low on workers, I guess. But there is a spirit lodge coming up. And if he gets out a witch doctor, this would help so much. Yo. I'm getting this information finally on the map. Yeah, he was quite blind. He'll also see, I guess, that the tree is gone, that the anti-air is gone. Yeah, so interesting. Like, I thought, man, this game is gonna end so soon because Seizo is just gonna win the 2v1 easy. Then I thought, oh, <laughs> Stein is gonna win easy as Seizo is not playing for win and losing the main bait. And <laughs> Then yeah, it looked like Raiden had his shots, and suddenly I have no idea who is winning. <laughs> All that with very little teaming, really? Yeah, right? It had always been 1v1s. A player's forces are under attack. Hmm. Alright, we are back at blaming. <laughs> And Grady is really Okay, this is gonna be a hard conflict now. 3.3k gold. Yo. Caesar knows if he kills the tree, then Graydon is gonna be on him. Yeah. So oh he boy. doesn't go for it. He wants to <laughs> get it for free. But Graydon is not really in the position to force uh, Caesar to stop because Caesar has the way higher heroes. So if it would be a fight, then Graydon knows that Caesar is winning. So yeah, Grady. Runs away. Mm. Ooh, and a player's forces are definitely a conflict. Pretty much the richest now. Only 100 gold behind Stein, who is pumping now. And I think, yeah, he's going to 100 again. Uh, Miriam just scouted the Chimera pump immediately, pointing it out. It's probably his last army. A town is under siege. And yeah, I guess Seizo is still overestimating the gold count of Stein. Also, he didn't see the 100 versus 100 fight that the elves had. So yeah, he is lucky if he is getting this 3k gold now. 
And yeah, Stein has to be careful killing it. Gradient has to be careful killing it. Say so is very unpredictable in how he would react if anyone would kill this base here. Uh, but yeah. Ooh, that's an interesting scout here now. Gradient scouts the rebuild, sees tier 2 and casters. So that's always hard to think about how much gold this could be behind if someone is getting his, his tech back. Also, nobody really had the greatest information. I mean, we see the owls now, but throughout the game, there was one at max. Did Grady really see everything that he wanted to see? W what was Stein scouting this entire game? Was it even yeah, it was like, did he even scout? To be honest, yeah, it's so hard to know like what the players know yeah. at this point. Like, do they really overestimate or underestimate anyone's gold here at this point? And yeah, now we have uh, an attempt to get 1500 from Gradient. Yeah, to just share the fair this gold yeah. mine. I mean, yeah, he can try it. There is nothing to lose. And yeah. Good call. If someone out. asks you to give you something, then you switch the topic. <laughs> <Is it great? laughs> yeah, it's pretty much what it is. I mean, it is a good call out. It is necessary that they know that there's an army again. Yep, two owls. I'm not sure how efficient this is, <laughs> but okay. It's nice to fly in company. Yep. <laughs> It's spring. True. Okay, so also Gradient sees that Stein is pumping and... Yeah, Gradient still wants the 1500. It's like, do you want my help? Then give me 1500. <laughs> Yeah, but maybe they will get zero if Stein is going to this mine. Yep. Which he definitely should do. He is and going the opposite action. way, though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we again don't know what he knows because there was a mine here as well and there is a base of Gradient. So maybe he just thinks that Gradient is the biggest threat here now and it's uh, worth to kill out the tier 3 tech here on the right hand side. And he doesn't know about the top. Uh, buildings, I guess. So yeah, that's more time for say so, and Players looks like Radiant's attempt to get some gold shared was not successful here. Town is under siege. Oh, say so under fire by Stein. Of course, you gotta respect the orc hero. And it's Blade Master time. All right. Ooh, did Stein just attack? Say so, then Grady. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if you are 100 supply at this stage of the game, <clears throat> you pretty much expect to get teamed, so it okay. doesn't really matter. It's more like, can you convert this 100 supply into a victory? And the fastest way is to just kill everything that you see. But I am not sure if that's gonna work out here. 93 supply is pretty fragile against two players with high heroes. RK back peen. I... Okay, so he gives him 750. He sees how urgent it is for Gradient to get gold out of it. Okay. And that Gradient actually might fool the game. And... <laughs> But yeah, Grain is not happy about it. He would ha like to have the 1.5k. Uh, <laughs> My, the negotiations now for 750 gold. <laughs> and yeah, I think Cesar has to be careful now that he is not overdoing it and gives him at least 750. Because otherwise, Gradient might be really angry. And this could mess up the game for Seizo as well in the end. But yeah, and yeah, that's what he's doing. 
Naga 6, kind of nice for Tornado against buildings, as there are still oh, so yeah, yeah. Then, many. Yeah, that's super nice for main bases. And also for islands, like if there is an island, Tornado has like insane range. Ooh, Zeppelin caught. That wisp won't survive. Bye bye. Wow, I wouldn't have thought that this match is gonna go into Zeppelin territory. Like, there was always one player that was so far ahead. But yeah, it's a big map, it's so hard to converge it to a victory. And yeah, we could have a very nice endgame now. I was about to say, mid-game mid seems over slowly but steady. Yeah. Okay. Who has the better calls, who's better prepared, who got more Zeppelins and Wisps? around say so caring about the etiquette nice <laughs> and yeah that, that's for example something that lilo i think would never do like taking to tier two here now um because yeah this looks to the others if this card as if you still have like 5k plus yeah like why would what does he need really yeah i think he wants hmm yeah good question <laughs> he has a tier 3 even still yeah. online on the right hand side so that's yeah it just looks super strong if you do it for no reason mm, ships in the night say so crazy is it time to team the buildings finally Yeah, interesting strategy here by Stein, going for 100 supply and then camping in the main, like is his plan to just defend and win by that, or what exactly, maybe he is thinking like he can't move out because there are always owls on him and when he's moving out there will be an attack on his main base. So yeah, it's not easy for Stein on such a big map. So yeah, gold card say so 6k suddenly in the lead here big time. Yeah. All the band of Stein got used. R And that's the last gold mine pretty much running dry now. Only top right with like 130 in it. Which we can move there if necessary. Who loses patience first? Always another question. We saw Stein already saying you guys are boring. Just waiting for BG, but uh, his 100 supply army is moving, maybe towards the north. Yup, yeah, we got Roar, here he we go. Is he interested in gradients buildings or in Seiso's rebuild? Yeah, he can, he, he can pick both, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay, going first for Seiso. Full things. Full base, yeah. Kinda. yeah. So yeah, Not this much of course makes now a stable move and that's minus five moon worlds maybe? Okay, no. It's not that big of a splash. <laughs> Three moon worlds now, good enough. Wow, but the other two take still a lot of damage, okay. Maybe we get to five. Um, who was asking for peace? Gradient. Ah, Gradient wants peace of Stein. Yeah, now that he realized that he's super close to his base, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is scary if there is a tier 2 with uh, production buildings for everything you need. But yeah, on the other hand, you have owls and you can scout if there is too much. And Gradient now using his gold for another smallish hidden army, I guess. As long as he still has these buildings, like Stein was close of, building, of killing it. Who has island? I mean, <laughs> I mean, who is like, what are the options here? Yeah, it's like saying help and then you ask against whom? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <It's a classic>. <laughs> <laughs> Say so knew this before, right? Yeah. Oh, and now he sees also the army of Gradient. Okay. Oh. 
intercepting the zeppelin. <laughs> and it feels like this is genuine surprise. Seeing all these yeah, cameras. Now there are all two cameras here that fly by. But on the other hand, Stein is also 100, so it's not the nicest situation here for say so to face two very big elf armies. Forces are under attack. Can he pick something up? Not really. But yeah, Seizu at least has the most gold. And the best heroes. Yep, exactly. Doesn't help too much against mass air. Chimeras would probably kill him. Yeah, he has to be very careful here with this burning zeppelin with the three uh, casters in it. Yo. <sighs> nice game. Nice game. A bit on the yeah. slower side. It's not like ultra action packed. But from a strategic point, this is really exciting now. Yeah, that's mostly what you expect from a important game that most players are going to play it safe and safe for most just means slow, which is not always safe and <laughs> oftentimes is exactly the opposite. But yeah, you don't want to be the guy that makes a big mistake and um, yeah, mess up your own chances and someone else's give a free win. But now we have a serious attack here. Oh, an attempt to kill a demon hunter. Failing though. I don't think that Gradio is going to be too happy about this one. And yeah, Gradient is not the one with the biggest army. So Gradient has lower heroes and smaller army than Stein and a uh, smaller base. So yeah, fighting him. It's not the best idea for now, and but yeah, it's always so hard to to judge the game state with this limited information. Keep in mind, Caesar is totally blind for this entire game. There yeah. hasn't been any wards in forever. <laughs> he still has a great hole in the middle, but that's about it. He's uh, relatively easy killable, especially by Grady with an owl. Treant's also good for scouting. But yeah, getting rid of some proxies and Stein is also taking this opportunity when Seizu isn't graded to um, yeah, strengthen his own winning chances by getting rid of more buildings. A very nice way of getting rid of this right inside without having to fear anything. But now there might be a tornado, so slowly but surely Stein's main base is also getting destroyed. A lot of moonwells that are about to die. Peace, okay, prevents the tornado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not smart by Gradient to take the peace after losing all of his right hand side. <laughs> and straight before he kills a lot of Stein's stuff. Why is he now lying about a hero? Or was that, oh, I see the pretending that was before. Or is that just foreseeing the future? Man, you gotta decipher Grady, that's kinda hard. Yeah, and Grady now, even use, using the Demon Hunter ultimate, plus the tornado. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, maybe he was bored. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter too much, like you're not expecting a big fight anytime soon where you need the ults and most likely they're gonna be off cooldown again so rather save the demon hunter HP that he's losing against spikes. Forces are under attack. And yeah, in this situation it's always one misread that can yeah. uh, make you lose. Yeah. So yeah, you have to be very careful and not too emotional. What's Grady spending gold on? His Base is shrinking. Yeah, he's on 67 supplies, so I guess mostly his army. The, he's at a 1k gold, that's nothing. Same for Stein. Okay, so he's still on 8 peons, so that's a very nice 
Preparation also for Zeppelins. Okay, so he is serious. He is serious for a win. He wants to get and up nice and early next really Sunday again. Get rid of the armies. Because then in Hero Arena, he is suddenly the strongest again. Yeah, work account. We got nine for Grady, seven for Stein, eight for Seiso. Everybody's still with lots of chances to hide and run. Yep. Chad, who do you see ahead? Who do you think will win? We'll comment on that in 10 minutes when the delay is so over. <laughs> the town is under siege. All right, so Seiso is not stopping, Gradient is not stopping, and Stein is the lucky third. Yep. Also with the biggest bank, like... Shouldn't they at least team for like five minutes and get rid of all this at the bottom, all this teal? Mm hmm yeah, I would say so. Well, say so, wouldn't say so. Yeah. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, nice. Yeah, but the, the real question is, does... Yeah, I think so. Stein still had enough to kill the island. But yeah, Seizo has to be careful to not overdo it now on Gradient, because uh, eventually they will just both lose. <laughs> okay, so Seizo wants to get more. <laughs> and Gradient doesn't know what Seizo is. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Okay, but now he should definitely stop Seizo. That should be fair, considering what Stein has. And yeah, that will not help Gradient understand it better. Nope. A player's forces are under attack. And yeah, Gradient wants peace. When is Caesar gonna? <laughs> okay. Still building buildings. Grady, is he stopping this? Yep. Ooh, finds a tree bottom left. Yeah, at this point it's already getting kind of big because that's also the first supply block now for Gradient. Of course, when you have a hidden army, always in danger of getting supply blocked. And if you then lose a hero, then you are in big, big trouble. So yeah, danger territory, but yeah, say so also six, uh, 36 out of 10. And hard to get up more. Especially if Seizo is still <laughs> not gonna go for the peace. Love that Grady is always uh, activating ultimate and yeah. all the spells. And I told you it didn't matter, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 again yeah. And it won't matter again. <laughs> okay, but now Seizo is uh, kind of serious and wants to go for the hero kill. But there's a TP on the on the demon hunter. Oh, it's so it's a rough season in the game. Like you never know. Is he not serious? Is yeah. he trying to win? Yeah. But then he he plays like he's trying to win, and that he is having four zeppelins and always trying to rebuild. Something is happening in the next five minutes, and we have no clue what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's so hard. So unpredictable. And yeah, Stein is feeling that it's getting closer for him, getting teamed. So he tries to point the attention back to the island. And yeah, Gradient is stopping on Seiso, while Seiso is still going on Gradient. Tornado obviously doesn't really help too much. Stein at home. Seiso in proximity though. 
Mm, yeah, but still no scout at what's happening here. Is he now returning the favor for when Seiso was fighting Stein and Grady didn't help him? And now he's doing the exact same thing. <laughs> So what does uh, Seizo have left? One Borrow and one Great Hall. Okay, that's about the minimum you can have. Still five peons though. Also both very close together. Yeah, exactly. That's a big danger here. And where are the... Sap okay, four saplings. They should be spread out decent enough. And there's a Chimera now uh, walking into the Wyvern. But Seizo is not... Yet attacking Stein, so hmm, interesting. Yeah, it's so hard to predict what's gonna happen here next. Like, usually it would be pretty straight up kill uh, Stein's main base and then reevaluate. <laughs> yeah, but no, very like very, very, very little teaming this game. Yeah, was there ever uh, there wasn't really one, right? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember that there was any 2 we one fight. <laughs> Grady is mining in a bit. At the top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but say so, I mean, it's not bad. Like, if there are so many so many buildings of Gradient uh, throughout the entire map, then and TST Islands, he needs a lot of uh, damage to get done. Yeah to get him killed fully, so yeah, better do it now. Because, yeah, Gradient knows that he can't kill Seiso, because he needs Seiso, so he needs to let this get done without can he be able to do anything if he wants to play for win. What do we have left for Grady? Two trees, yeah, the big island, of course, two moon worlds as well. Still a lot. Oh yeah. How does Seiso ever reach the island? Mm. Yeah. I think... Hmm. Yeah, it depends on how much gradient has left, but I mean, there can be something like Big Bad Voodoo from the other side of the island and then fly mm. in with a zeppelin. With the other two heroes. This way you have to get creative. Yeah. Chad says, please Wow, and he now really goes for peace, so that's a really sharp point to find. Like, he killed so many buildings. But yeah, kind of, Gradient has to kind of accept it, because he, he knows that if he kills this Great Hall, then it could be that Seizo is just going nuts and... Yeah, just never pieces of him again in this game. So yeah, this was a great trade now for Seizo. Gradient was not on him, while Seizo killed a lot of buildings. And now pretty much the perfect time. And there is one tree and one moon will left on the mainland, at least from what I can tell. Ooh, great, great, great. Well played. Now, of course, Stein knows where uh, Seizo's buildings are and he knows that uh, Seizo pieced Gradient, so there's no argument why he's not. Uh, he should not go on the Great Hall. <laughs> okay, we lost. Thank you. I don't know if Stein is pretending to not know anything, or if he really doesn't know anything. I mean, he doesn't have an owl, so it's not easy. And Graydon suddenly said, okay, we have no chance anymore. And yeah, that Ooh. makes it kind of weird for Stein. There was a Great Hall gone. Say yeah, so I think there's no things. Great Hall at the moment, so no TP. That's always something that you have to remember that you can't TP out. Okay, we have a Blade Storm here. And yeah, finally it looks like the main base of Stein is getting decimated, but ooh, doesn't he remember? Okay, he can still get away. And Tangle was not on the Shadow Hunter. A player's forces are under attack. Drunken Haze again. The chase is on. We got some action, folks. 
TC has yep. of course old stomped away, doesn't hit that much. Wow, this damage on the Blade Master, the Realchemist has to be careful. Okay, now he switches targets and tries to get rid of the Amira while trying to evacuate with the other two heroes. So he's hoping for Grady, but Grady lets him down again. Yep, it Grady now says, uh-huh, yeah, you attacked me for 20 minutes and I yeah. should help you now. Yeah. He's not gonna be his puppet, but yeah. It's of course also for great and important to get rid of as many buildings as possible. It doesn't matter whose buildings they are. And Seizo doing a great fight here pretty much against 100 supply here with three heroes and he's making a lot of things work here. Like down to one Chimera? Really? Yeah, he killed 30, 30 food, dude. 30 food wow. gone. Here comes Grady, finally. Will yep. we get a tornado? Ooh, Ooh boy, and another talent. I mean, it's so smart. Like, it's not enough for Seizo to get rid of buildings. Like, he needs to get rid of the armies so that his heroes are finally reigning supreme. And is he now piecing Stein? Yeah, it mm. looks like it. And that's now a rough situation because Seizo is so low on buildings. And of course, as Orc, you are not privileged or wow, even transmuting the Zeppelin. And Stein Orc, killed the Zeppelin of Seizo on the right-hand side. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's getting dangerous for Seizo. Yeah. And this also scouted here now in the top. Uh-oh. And now he even <laughs> uses the leaving of Aranicus as a... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Seizo fighting for survival. And Seizo is on one building, is it correct? Seizo is on... No. Okay. He has a great hall bottom right. And he has still three Zeppelins, three peasants, so he's... He done. He did a really nice preparation. He sees now... Oh, now a transmitting. This is the Castor Zeppelin now. Ooh, oh, that, that hurts. One. He'll not get them back. Ay ay nope. ay. Oh, that's... That's rough for say so. And yeah, on the other hand, Stein is losing buildings. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Everyone is losing stuff. That's good. Say so is still 3k gold, so he is always talking so <laughs> as if he's dying like any second, but yep. okay, now peace. Stein pieces with uh, Seizo and Seizo takes it as he still knows about the island top left and he can't deal with it at the moment. So he needs Stein. And Stein was killing his uh, rebuild, so yeah, that's a good uh, trade for uh, Seizo now to take this piece. Yeah, Seizo wasn't even Seizo wasn't even greedy and like killed the Moonwell and then finished the piece, but yeah. just stopped attacking immediately. Yeah, I think he should have killed the Moonwell. I don't think that there would be a difference, but yeah, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's Gradient's now talking about the rush again, okay. <laughs> it's, don't think it's as important at this point anymore. It's always important. Whatever you can use, you use. Yeah, but finish line. How do they deal with Grady's Island, though? A lot of Zeppelins left for <laughs> Stein. How many are they? Six Zeppelins, okay, aye, he's aye, ready. Aye. And for now, Seizo guarding his uh, Great Hall. All right, that was a big chunk. Great Hall finishes, also a lot of gold. All right, gradient down to two digit gold count. Oh, true. Oops. Oops. Sorry. There's some item store. <laughs> Orcus P and wow. <laughs> yeah, that's not. <laughs> that's not gonna help too much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the owl is right there. Grady knows. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh, if you play like this, why don't you sell items? That is a point. Yeah, yeah. Lilo, Lilo sells items at 10 to 15k. Hey, hey, hey. A player's forces are under attack. Transmute, kaching. It's another peon down. Oh, there was another zeppelin. And yeah, that's a lot of gold also that Stein is getting by transmuting. So yeah, Stein broke the piece. With say so, and says is not gonna like it. Still 2.5k gold though. And Another also one. Radiant here on Seizo. Oh, that's Yo. rough now for him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. This can fire out of control quickly now. Producing workers here, uh, trying to evacuate. Can he take it? But it's, that's expensive. Yo, Tornado, very good against buildings. We rarely see it in one-on-one, -on -one, but that's a great hole gone. A player's forces are under attack. And another Peon gone. Ooh, say so. You're playing with fire. Yep. Grady sees everything with that owl. Say so down to two Boros. And two peons, right? Three peons, okay. Level four priestess. Feels so underwhelming, but the owl's doing so much work. Yeah. So it's super important to keep this, this priestess alive. Ooh, the next all cancelled, but Peon escapes, Zeppelin escapes, that's all good. And we have a staff to the island. Beautiful. He pulls out the island now. He has a lot of stuff. <laughs> and yep, I think now it's getting really frustrating. Yeah, 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 yeah. I because think so now too. Now he's just bank drinking and yep. <laughs> they're still talking against him. Yeah, I think there's also no man up no more. It's kind of real. Yep, he might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Stein, of course, still has an army. A player's and yeah, Gradient is right. As long as you have full items, there yeah. can't be too little gold. Ooh, but that's a nice catch here. Finding this tree. You also get the Zeppelin at the top. And that tree, as you said. All right, emotions building up. Uh, like. Yep. Still the question, how do you crack the island? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Radiant pretty much the best with the islands. There are some hidden chimeras for Stein. So yeah, he can go with chimeras and then sell anything that's trying to attack those. So yeah, there's always a way. But yeah. But it's like he has to sell one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight to nine talents and a hippo. It takes yeah, forever. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. Oh, 
All right, say so with another Great Hall, with another Burrow, with another... Oh, second Great Hall, actually. How long can he do this? 1,200. Oh, he has so many talents. Jesus. And yeah, Stein might now, so I have to think. I'm not sure if Stein knows about the army of Gradient that he has. Still yeah, yeah, he scouted it. And now, oh, oh Stein yeah. is moving north. Grady is here. Lot big AOE fights. Well, I mean, air fights. Zap down. Ooh. There's no catch, of course. But the rest of the army is it's right there. Too. It's right there. <laughs> they are both very close in supply. Yeah. Oh, and now both scouts that say so is still producing peons here. So they know that he is still gold. Yeah, it's so hard to uh, to decide like who to attack, who can I kill, what do I need against whom, how far can I go. Yeah, mostly about decision making now. All right, more Moonrose going down, so these Chimera Roots will not produce more Chimeras in this game. And... Radiant still on Stein. And Gradient is now offering peace to say so. It's a good point in time for say so now to get the peace, I think with two great halls but yeah exactly now uh, yeah. they need to get the islands yeah. because both have a hard time dealing with it so yeah that should be highest priority for both of them <laughs> this will cost quite a bit Whatever they do, it's gonna cost. Yeah. <laughs> Stein trying to squeeze out some gold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the bad thing is that everyone always scouts if there is nothing happening but say so. Say is really limited. Yeah. And also still so many hippos and talents that he can't really afford to scout with like zeppelins. But yeah, now they have a clear target, which is the islands. So yeah, Gradient has to be careful that he gets another building up that isn't on the islands, a tree preferably. He still has a zeppelin and a wisp. There is a moon well that is not on the island. We got <laughs> talents on another island. Yeah. <laughs> so can't protecting, be protecting. Yeah. So that no one else can get one. Wow, I wouldn't really have expected this game to last, to go until this stage of the game. But it's interesting because it's so hard to predict every time. Like Everyone is acting like they are not, especially say so as if they're going to leave or not play for win anymore. And Yep. Everyone else makes a mistake. Man, WrestleMania starts in two hours. We gotta be finished by then. Forces are under attack. <laughs> There's a bot function. Yeah, that be, that we will, we will, fine. we will stay. We will stay. So yeah, they can't really agree on how to kill the islands. Yeah. Like Stein doesn't want to get a give away that he has two chimeras left. And without those, it's going to be hard. So eventually, he has to use them. Maybe Gradient will call them out at some point, and then he has to get them. There is another. We ching ching. 1.2k gold. Oh, we'll say so. Catches a demon hunter, but okay. Yeah, it's he has a, to be very careful. It's a TP gone. Yeah. I think he has another one, but it's gone. Exactly 56 gold. 
getting expensive now. Hmm. Oh, that's risky now, saying 1k gold uh, and not lying about it. No, I think he means that two halls are costing 2k or whatever. Or is he... Oh, no. I well, don't think so. Okay. He's not lying then. It's a bit risky because he was saying all the time that he's out of gold, he's out of gold, and then yeah. he rebuilt more and more and more, and now he says he's out of gold, only one k left. So it's hard to believe him if he was always lying. All right. Gradient kills another burrow, another peon. It's Grady trying to eliminate Seiso. See, is that it? Yeah, and Grady is playing it smart now. Like, the others can't really agree on how to get rid of the island. And yeah. in the meantime, Grady just... Yeah, that island, man. Grid. That island was genius. Yeah. Like, usually taking an island this early is just getting you teamed. And yeah, you lose all the, your buildings on the mainland and then the island as well. So... This time it wasn't really the case because there was no clear solution against it. And yes, Ezo thinks that Gradient just bought a TP. It was there the entire time though, right? Yeah, exactly. So he was not lying about the gold and he always had a TP. He didn't buy a TP. Yeah. And yeah, now he sees the owl, so he's stepping out quickly. Will the demon hunter get away though in time before the hex? Yep. <laughs> Early. A player's forces are under attack. So yeah, that's his last TP gone for now. Uh, Shredder falling as well. And yes, he again misreads the game, blaming someone else for it. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah, Stein can make the call, eh? He can basically choose who he's going to prom with. It's interesting, yeah, Stein is just pretty much enjoying here his time alone while others lose slowly but surely stuff. Yeah. So he doesn't have to move and others are getting rid of some stuff with them. Uh, while he's in a pretty nice position here with all this air, it's easy to crack the island if you have the air dominance. But yeah, then on the other end it's an island and there's there are three heroes. <laughs> yeah, nobody sure what to do right now. Nobody can make the call, nobody wants to make the call. Yeah, and I can't blame them, but what, what is there to do? Like, they really should get rid of the island, but Stein is acting as if he has had no uh, possibility to do so, and Seizo obviously doesn't have a, uh, yeah. a way to deal with it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think... Hmm, yeah, I have an idea. Stein is pretty crazy prepared, though. Zeppelin, yeah. Wisps, Heavy Air, multiple Zeppelin, multiple Wisps all across the map. Also buildings hidden. He's kind of ready. And I really feel like as much as Seiso likes to man up, I feel like he's really getting frustrated. Mm-hmm. I mean, Cezo knows that he is pretty much in the weakest spot because Stein has more army than him. 
But we also saw how that army was melting. Yeah, true. true. In the yeah, last maybe, fight. Maybe he thinks that he's better off if he just gets rid of the islands. That's his highest priority. But Stein is cooperating, and without Stein, he can't get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, whew. I mean, yeah, he could go with the big bad voodoo, but yeah, it's so risky. That he loses the game for it. Oh, another borrow down. I mean, there should be. Should be. Ah, it's ah, it's it's too close to. Like I, I'm thinking, like he can just sacrifice a zeppelin and then TP out after blade storming the tree. But I'm not sure if this would work out without losing a hero for it. And create immediately TPs back and then maybe tornadoes and then it's not enough. And I, I feel like also, Grady can snipe everything that's coming to this island, no? The talents yeah, do exactly, but so much. Yeah. Yeah. Another tornado for a burrow here. But yeah, it's fine. And yeah, Seizo always out of position. Or rather, Gradient always knows where Seizo's position yeah. location is. Yeah, thanks to Owl. Yeah. The owls. So yeah, he can pick him apart slowly. Mm, but I think, so, like, Grady expects that he can win versus Stein. <laughs> What's Grady Which might doing? be correct, like, it's gonna be hard. What did Grady find that made him type I'm not sure. Did Stein kill anything of him? I'm not sure. But Stein definitely killed a peon of Seizo on the left hand side. That's... Okay, he got six. That's fine. <laughs> How does this end now, is the question. I mean, at this pace, it's like Seiso is gonna lose because Gradient slowly but surely will kill his buildings yeah. while Seiso can't do anything about it. Yeah. And maybe Seiso is now gonna go on Stein because Stein is not helping. But then Stein. Has a chimera here. Yeah, no Stein is on say so. Okay, will Grady do something about it? Guess why would he? Yeah, and say so needs to build. He's producing more peons now. That base is of this tree, so that's also a nice information. That's yeah. the last, I guess. He has so many wisps and 1300 gold. Should be fine. Oh, but that town hall, that isn't fine. Can he snipe him now? Town portal out. Okay, that shouldn't be enough damage. Even with the blade master, that's not yeah. enough damage. No way. Okay, so base still standing. And I think, yeah, <laughs> like if Seizo is out, who is ahead? I'm really not sure, so I think it would make sense for both to get rid of Seizo and then take their chances. And then do rock, paper, scissor. <laughs> Pretty much. Stein is the owl, Gradient is the, uh, Gradient is the owl in the island, but Stein is the, the army and the alchemist. Yeah.
Yeah, guys, I don't know. I got no clue. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, is in a really, really dire situation because he can't do anything as yeah. Stein is not helping with the island. And if he goes on Stein, then they go both on him. And three owls on him. <laughs> it's also a little bit of a statement. Like, yeah, I don't need my owls anywhere else. I'm just sending them all on you to make a statement, <laughs> to make you mad a little bit. I like that. A player's forces are and yes, yeah, Cesar doesn't know about the Hidden Stein army. Like, he might think that Stein is really on his free heroes and also can't deal with the island. <laughs> they can't figure out the puzzle. Is Seiso starting to sell stuff? Not really, right? A little bit, there's a bit... He started, space. yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ooh! Ooh. Oh, oh boy. Okay, that will hopefully make someone move. Uh, that's it about um, I never ever have built an island in my life and I would never. Yeah, do. yeah, yeah. He prepared that man <laughs> for a long time. He wants the final. He wants the final bad. This is not scouted. Demon Hunter might have to use another TP now. A town is under siege. Mm, hero death is a little bit of a overstatement. <laughs> <laughs> Having a TP and being on green health. Bonk. Ooh, hex 6 6. Oh, oh this nice. felt like it was easily in range. And then the TZ might have been in range as well. Yeah. So. Ooh. And then the TP would have been gone, huh? Imagine lying all game, bro. Isn't, isn't that <laughs> exactly? And isn't that like ninety percent of FA ladder anyway? Uh, Stein is moving his treants around. I feel like he has a solid understanding of what's happening in the game. Problem, of course, always he can't really scout air. But he's moving. He pulls to the bottom left. Talent's coming in as well. Ooh, there's a little bit of a... Yep, that's nice. Oh, Grady. Yeah, go on. That's Grady really needs against Stein defending the island. Oh, that's a triple kill. Nothing yep. saved. Ouch. Now Gradient's offering the peace. Interesting spot for Seizo because he knows that the island is a big trouble for him. And his own island is not really worth a lot against Tornado. Seizo is right, you truly lie. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stein. Always lots of sympathy for this guy. All right. Saying greetings to the island here. <laughs> Maybe send a postcard, throw a stone. I mean, there's nothing he can do. Shockwave is not enough range. Again, it's just a big bad voodoo with a zeppelin. And there are serpent wards, but they are also not reach i mean they might reach eventually like if you get rid of the tree line and then put the ward slowly but surely everything will great die, yeah great or you know you just snipe them with the heroes and they don't do anything so there's always a way always a way 
They didn't call out Seiso's island yet. I'm not sure if anyone's called it, honestly. Yeah. I don't think the talent sees it. Zero builds on land, yeah, that's correct. That's a rough situation to be in for Gradient. Also, oh, he doesn't even have a Zeppelin. Wait, is he stuck there? Ah. Is he just stuck? I, I mean, he has a Talon. He has a Talon, yeah, so the Talon can always... No, the Talon can't buy a Zeppelin because there's nothing to sell. But the Talon can at least land and then staffs. I can land and then staffs. <laughs> until items can buy a Zeppelin. Something was sold here, I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, I didn't, didn't see it either, I just heard the sound. Yo, that's of course mad funny that Grady is kind of stuck there, but... Does he want to be anywhere else, really? I'm also not sure about that. Yeah, at least he's safe, kinda, here. Yeah. Uh, Grady moving out the Chimeras, like, is this an attempt to eliminate Seiso, like... Getting rid of the Borrow and the uh, Great Hall. They are in close proximity. And how many PNs are left? Three. Okay, so there's still room. And Caesar is not too amused in this game. I'm pretty sure Arenicus doesn't regret leaving that game <laughs> an hour ago. Okay, so now he... Grant says he's, I know you. Yeah. Does mean I'm not on you? Because if that's what he wanted to say, then that's also not true. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So he he at least wants to show him if I, w if I wanted to, I could just finish you. But yeah. I'm not going to do it, so rather I accept my peace. You have island too. Here we go. <laughs> Stein is so prepared, man. It's crazy. Yeah, he is. And yeah, now Gradient is really low on air units. And yeah, Gradient really needs the piece because he can't win against Stein. Uh, but Seizo is so not happy. <laughs> oh, he's not answering anymore. Oh boy. Yeah. Two buildings for Seizo, right? What else has he got? Two Zeppelins. Ah, he's moving. I mean, yeah, now. after Gradient's seeing this entire air that Stein has, he knows that they need to get rid of Stein. If Gradient wants to win. Cesar wants to get rid of the island. So he don't want to, doesn't want to go on Ooh, Stein. Ooh, Stein moving. Yeah, like, Green really has zero buildings here on land, so... Oh, does, doesn't he even have a Wisp Gradient? Oh, he doesn't have a Wisp and he's, of course, supply blocked. That's always bad news, so yeah. Yep. One attack on this island is just GG for him. But the others don't know. The others don't know, yeah, exactly. I mean, it took I mean, us, like, 45 Stein, minutes to realize against Stein, Even though Stein is on 68 supply. Then against this island here. Yeah, I think so too. Stein can also take the island if Gradient would be eliminated. Oh yeah, rough situation here for say so. And Steinia is also uncertain whether it's already the, the, the right timing. But I think he should have scouted a lot throughout the last 15 minutes to know that there's really nothing left for Gradient. Yeah. And yeah, now he only has to decide what it, it's good to finish Gradient here. He's in a position or whether uh, Seizo is going to be strong enough to win the 1v1 against Stein, which also can be the case, honestly. Unless if Stein goes on the island himself. 
Thank you, Rudy, for the sub. Yeah, he's getting closer. And it's really not that impressive anymore. He moved most of the army away. If he attacks now... And I think he saw something with that Talon. Yeah, he has Fairy Fire applied, so pretty much ah. sees that there is not too much left. Yo. But there's no Chimeras with this, right? It's just the anti-air? Yeah, the Chimera is oh. still chilling. Oh. Right inside the bottom. Oh. Hey, Grady, what do you do? Alchemist is coming, trying to snipe. Does it work? Not really. No communication anymore whatsoever. Everybody just yeah, gave up on yeah. it. Like, everybody's silent. That's okay. This is getting serious now. So, Grady, what now? This is still not true about what Stein exactly has, of course. Yeah, he can, since he has no scouting and especially no air scouting. Wait, really? Is this serious time now? Yep. Oh, on to. There's no staff on the other heroes. Oh, that's a big mistake. And TP out of range. So the alchemist. Oh, it just makes it out. Expensive. A little bit of a mistake here. Usually you have enough uh, hex duration to stun them. So. Forever. Stein knows. Where Say So is, I guess he must. And then with the Chimeras, he can take him out, maybe. The buildings really don't matter, do they? No, not really. So yeah, now it's up to Gradient, but I think Gradient is fine. Like, Gradient knows how much stuff Stein has. Yeah. And he knows that he's doing fine against the Orcs. So for Gradient, I don't think Gradient will help here. Well, I wonder if Stein knows about the island in the north. Yeah, maybe. But... Shouldn't be a big problem as long as he has four chimeras. True. It's just that he doesn't want to reveal them yet. <laughs> gotta say, Stein got a point. <laughs> It really, really feels like Stein was about to go on, onto the island, and then at that Ooh, very Stein, moment, Ooh, Stein transmitted another zeppelin yep. and entangled the peons. So I don't think that Seiso is gonna stop on Stein here anytime soon now in this game. Okay, now he still wants the peace, but Seiso is doesn't seem to be in the mood. No, no. For these, those shenanigans anymore. No, no, no. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, question is, if Stein goes here. There is only a staff for for say so to defend. Oh, Blade yeah. Master only wants that Great Hall. There's another breath. This Great Hall is gone. Yep. And another peon is gone. It puts him three peons, 343 gold. Oh, yeah, not. Not worth no. for Seizo here. No. He didn't get anything done pretty much. A player's forces are under attack. Space created. Grady sees everything. Ooh, the Zeppelin shouldn't go <laughs> oh, in the wrong oh, direction. No, 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 no. And now it would be nice if if Grain was here to snap the Zeppelin. <laughs> I mean, he had the full vision, so it would be such a nice play for him. I guess he only has two talents up north. And it would be a big reveal yeah. of his army, so rather not. If 
fairy fire is so good at this stage of the game. When Grant will lose another Talon here. Or trying to snipe the Zeppelin. Oh, no purge trigger here. Four hits or something. <laughs> Didn't see it, unfortunately. But yeah, Great Hall already scouted here. At least for Gradient. Yeah, yeah, this is now two and a half hours and we're far from done. Yeah, but once player's one player is out. Attack. Yeah, yeah, that's super fast. Super quickly. Yeah. A town is under siege. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the island. Okay. Is it time for Seiso to say goodbye? If they team up on him, there's no chance. Yeah, yeah. No chance. But if it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, can't Grady just put everything to his island and never be conquered? The question is, is it enough against the anti-air? Yeah. Like, there can be one Chimera, so there needs to be a reaction, and the reaction can only be anti-air. And the air battle goes to Stein easily. Oh yeah, it's six talents and one hippo. That's about it. How does Seiso survive on 280 gold A player's force is and 18 food? Oh, I love that he tags another peon. Oh, that crow is not. Okay. Well. Then I correct myself and say five crows. Yeah, now we see that Seizo is selling items, so it's getting closer where he is out of gold. If Stein moves a bit further up north, he finds Ooh, yeah, the right. majority oh. and the crow. Oh, n now he knows. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Yep. <laughs> That's the one. Go further. Who lucky break. There was Ooh. two chimps in quick uh, succession. There was one third of his air army. <laughs> no, they are moving there again. That's brave, at least. Again, ships in the night, one one display apart, these two armies. Amir moving towards the Great Hall now. Ooh. And heroes are far away from it. Okay. Uh, not a good defense here by Seizo this entire game. Blade is here. Hex. Purge. But yeah, it's too much damage, isn't it? Okay. If he hexes. Isn't it worth? Is it worth? A player's forces are under attack. That crow is back. It was there before. Same phase, maybe. Oh. Okay, Stein gets ready. He owns the north. Did he kill everything? Wait. No. Was just relocated. 
<lacht> A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, super patient player by Stein. Like he could have healed the islands so often already. Yeah. And yeah, with that, the last buildings of gradients. Say so I had to sell more. These heroes without the inventory don't look that scary anymore. Mm hmm. Slowly moving, slowly moving. Ooh, Camira is back. That's what? not smart. No. What? How? <laughs> How does it get away? Go into the Zeppelin. Oh, he's faking the Zeppelin that there's a Blade Master in it. Does he? No, he's <laughs> just getting the weapon. And that's no. enough now, Hex, maybe. Yep. Yeah. Ay ay. Grady is falling apart a little bit, isn't he? Level 10. Yeah, but it could be that it is intentionally, intentionally losing these chimeras that he can get out of the supply block. Yep, yeah, here we go. Ah. We one and now he can get a wolf finally. Oof. I guess this is the encore. We are continuing for a bit. Yeah, I guess that's that's a smart smart idea. Gets rid of some resources of say so and now being able to survive after the island island gets cleared i think that was a very good play here and now he might want to ask for peace Oh, the Zeppelin is Zep Oh, Zeppelin with two wisps getting caught here. Can he reach? I can't kill him. Nope, he tried to land, but there was no space. <laughs> well, I guess they can't move either. Ooh, Gradient gives another borrow. Well, yeah, Gradient needs these, <laughs> these wisps. He's sending in another yeah, Zeppelin. Ooh, another peon here is gonna fall. That so was the second last one. Left. It's always rough, rough. So yeah, selling more, but no high value items left to sell. Circlet. Grey is leaving the island to save his wisps. Is the rest resp Is it a trap? It could be, but oh, Stein no. is going for the friendly play for now because he still knows that Grey is not an issue for him too much, I guess. Oh, another transmute though. Juicy. And yeah, that's more air going for the gradient. Oh, sloppy play. Ow! Sloppy, sloppy play. So yeah, gradient knows everything here about Stein and really needs to team up against him. Man, that looked so nice for Gradient here, this island with a lot of anti-air and suddenly down to, I think, one Chimera. 
That is exactly what he got. One Chimera, two Wisps. Okay, but he realizes finally that Stein wins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stein, is he about to finish them? He's in position on the right. He got Chimeras on the uh, on the left. He got Chimeras on the right. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, now now Seizo could even finish Gradient easily, <clears throat> as there is no island yeah, defense yeah. anymore. Oh. So yeah, this means Gradient has to go on Stein. Seizo is still pretty much forced to stay here. Yeah, he can't do anything really. There's no move possible. Keeper sending treants. The levels don't matter anymore. But yeah, Brian should have full vision here on the map, so he should know where Stein's buildings are. So. He should move. <laughs> oh, and the last Chimera now falls, bottom left. Uh oh. He only has yes, a zero. He's doing it because he's winning, man. <laughs> mm Yeah, and I think Caesar has no idea that Gradient lost everything. Yeah, how is he supposed to know? Yeah, how would he? A town is under siege. So yeah, if Gradient puts a lot of pressure on Stein, then Stein has to go on the island finally and kill the island. And yeah, Gradient should have the vision, as said. So Stein should lose buildings finally as well. But Green's still pretty amateur, why he's not uh, going on Stein. I mean, with what? <laughs> he only has the heroes left. Should be fine. Yeah, and Caesar has no idea that Gradient is down mm. to three heroes. Yeah. Grady evacuated a Wisp. And of course, Stein plays it. <laughs> Yo, since when? Like, when was the last time Seiso was able to scout that island? Because <laughs> yeah. a lot yeah. has changed since then. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you are useless. <laughs> <laughs> Give me items so I can buy Zep at least. Don't sell one of your 20 items before you ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird to do. Yeah, I mean, I guess Gradient thinks like if he goes on Stein, then. Stein kills his island and that's it. But yeah, Gradient got back now two Wisps, Zeppelin. And yeah, he's now very low on items. Pretty much only has the most necessary ones left. So yeah, pretty expensive island evacuation. Oh, there's even another Zeppelin around. Also scouted and yeah, the Zippo will, will kill him as well. Uh, not going well these last 20 minutes for Gradient. Nope. Got the, gotta have the endurance for three hour games. Gotta be sharp all the way. Oh, there is an alchemist running for that wisp. And Gradient still manips against Orc? Why? Are under attack. I don't know. It's okay. Caesar is going for building HP, but. These locations are not nice, like Amiras are really happy if they are built there. Like left hand side of the crater would be so much better. 
And yes. Brilliant never never told Sezo that he lost everything. <laughs> yeah. Maybe and he can't is, with weak English. I mean okay, lost all should should be Who oh, the peon though that peon? Well but also greed, greedy here. Peon evacuates into the burrow. Okay, he's not going for it as it is obvious play and now it's he's in danger here. The alchemist only has a step. Oh, what? Ooh. Oh Stein! Yep. No more catching. <laughs> no more catching. What the hell? <laughs> oh man. It had <laughs> it had to it was kind of bound to happen. <sighs> Can't win anymore. Yeah, maybe he really has to sell items now. Finally. Yep. He has barely any items remaining. He can sell the battle drums, I guess. Yeah, easily. Players' forces are under attack. Yep, and says a total misread of the game now. Yeah, I mean he's blind. How, how can yeah. he know? No, it's not. <laughs> Meant the harsh way, but it's just what it is. It is indeed what it is. Yep. But I feel like none of them is really confident anymore. It's yep. not like it's a Lelu playing and you know in like five minutes there's going to be a genius plan where every building is going to be wiped out in a second. This is like lucky coincidences, kind of. Yep, and soon we might really have the situation that, uh, that Seizo is out of items and has no Zeppelin left and Gradient still has the island. And... Stein might be out or something like this. <laughs> oh then, man, oh man, yeah, this, could, a, this could totally happen. This could totally happen. Stalemate. <laughs> and a draw potential. Ooh, so one of Grady's wisps might be in danger. Is dead, yep. probably. Should just block it here with the mirror image. High ping, though. I Ooh, expired. <laughs> Okay, he sends more. All right, sending out mirror images. I mean, that's also a way to get rid of everything that's not on an island, at least. Yeah, and Seizo doesn't know. There's nothing, there's nothing left. Yeah, so Seizo is not attacking Stein as he thinks that Graydon still has an army and yeah. Stein. He can't win against Gradient. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Cesar should at least think why Stein would be on him if Gradient had a hidden army on an right? island that Stein can't defend. Uh, can't beat. Also, Stein didn't mention the island for like two hours now. <laughs> Man, this was supposed to be such a short 30 minutes game after <laughs> Seizo killed Aaron. And Stein was still on Gradient with level 5 3 2 hero. 4 3 2. We need some moves, boys. We need some moves. Yep. But, but Grady and Stein are not the guys to move, really. Seizo obviously can't move yeah. far away yeah. from here. He can only use mirror images. Gradient can't really 
lose anything anymore. Ooh, Stein has an island moon well. I didn't even see that. Six o'clock. Oh uh, yeah, that's also. Wow, that's potentially a very big one. I see his transmute as well. So every if there is a zeppelin, it has to get to the island and just yeah. transmute it. Man, this game has some really some real draw potential. But uh, yeah, as long as Stein has a lot of chimeras, like four chimeras, I think are spread throughout the map. Then yeah, there is no stalemate, and he should just win. Oh yeah, Stein plays super patient here. <laughs> it's fascinating how they don't lose their cool. Yeah, none of them, none of them, not even <laughs> Sazel didn't. But how will they crack this island? Like, yeah, Zeppelins, Please, of course, I but can't. no, what? This makes no sense. This what? makes no sense. What? He didn't get Alchemist back. Oh. He didn't even get an Alta. <laughs> okay. Wow. So now he's going. <laughs> for I can't afford to get the hero back. Or what? I'm not sure. I that don't doesn't... know, man. I don't know. I did not expect that this game would go three hours. No, really not. I was sad that we have another 30 minute game or 40 minutes. And now I have no idea how this is gonna end and when, especially. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of money on the line already. It is. Potentially, at least. So yeah. Can't blame them. Time for a couple of them to reevaluate. Like, Seiso is right, he can't move. Like, if he moves, he's dead. Mm -hmm. But all he's got, like, he can, what he can do is, like, mirror image. That's the only thing. Grady has no army, only the heroes. Yeah, and Seiso doesn't believe him that he doesn't have no army. Yeah. Grady said I lost all, I think. At one point, something. Oh, did he? Like okay. It at least. Or did he not? I don't think so. I think he never said that. Yeah, he only said you real ed manip and I sell all. So pretty much means say so is only maniping after he said that he has a hidden army. Yeah. So yeah, not the best way to articulate that he lost it against Stein. And yeah, Stein of course plays with that and will not tell anyone that he did. So yeah, Seizo thinks that Graydon is in the lead, so he's not attacking Stein. <laughs> and Stein knows that if Seizo is out, then Gradient is shouldn't be a big problem for him. Yeah. Because there's only this island left and he still has army. And yeah, Gradient... Gradient has issues finishing Seizo now. But knows that Seizo can't finish him too easily. But Grey <sighs> knows if he goes on Stein, that Stein will, can just kill him easily. And uh, it's it's rough, it's rough. Yeah, it's really rough. We are ready to go. If Seizo agrees. I guess he also went AFK a bit. All right. Oh, time to stretch. Exactly. And as I said, if you have to kill some time, ladies and gentlemen, Star Trek Fleet Command, our sponsor this month. Perfect. I built an entire new base during this game in the waiting times. D did some research and you support the channel. That'd be grand. Our semi-final continues though. Now that people had like three minutes to reevaluate. I'm really curious what the right move is and if there's new moves or if they're set with their game plans. I mean, they had a lot of time to think about stuff before, I guess, so... Ah. 
I can't win. That is... Like... Everybody thinks that. But... I kinda don't get what prevents Stein. Biggest army, four chimeras, lot best anti-air. Okay, finally he gets his Arta, so okay, that's something he needs to wait for before he makes a move for the Alchemist. Yeah, I think Grey and also knowing everything, Gradient should go on Stein and Stein should go on Gradient. Oh, there's another, yeah, the altar you called it out. And I think both can deal with say so and say so. Mm. Not sure. <laughs> Oh, huh? Stein is on 61 out of 20. So yeah, what did we say ah, before about that's not why. losing a hero when you have hidden armies? <laughs> that's why. Oh, okay. So that's a. Is he ever gonna get him back? Oh, now it's. He has to think about it, whether it's worth to kill some of his army and oh. But oh, he, but he I did, didn't it, think about that, that at all. He's okay. He he moved everything to the island. He's willing to camp there. But I mean, does he does he really need that alchemist even? I. I mean, the alchemist is the best if you're camping on an island and someone needs a zeppelin to get there. True. You can just sell everything here. Yeah, that's okay. Right. He sells more. Now he's back to one k gold. But I mean, without killing a lot of his army, he's still not able to get all the moon wells. So what I guess he's gonna build one here on the island. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's still a long way to go for an alchemist. Oh man, what a huge mistake that was. Yep, even with an invo. Mm, yeah, Graydon wants to get an additional entry to say so. Say so's last buildings. So Caesar has one more shot left for now, like one more town hall rebuilt. So they can't just go for an all-in on these two buildings. Ah, <laughs> so what's Stein's play? Okay, more islands, more buildings, more moon wells. And then he is already at out of 50 with this one. Yep. So yeah, I can get it quite, quite cheap-ish. Does he still have the resources okay, or does he have to sell more? Because he's down to only oh. boots. Yeah, one more here on the top. Yeah, his boots, Orb of Venom, both look pretty important. I mean, the medallion, I think he should sell on the panda. And then he should be... Ah, okay, yeah, the fine. advanced overlay didn't display them. Whoops. Ah, yeah. <laughs> You're so right. that's a bit different. Man, this feels so lonely, being Seizo here, <laughs> only having these mirror images to see something that's going on and always having two to three hours on you while everyone else sees everything. And yeah, the problem is that Seizo can't even scout in any island. Wow, there are so many islands now for... Stein. Yeah, in the north as right, well. In the, in the north, there's a moon well. 
Dirty. Dirty. Alright. So Alchemist should be back after one more moon well. So he didn't have to kill anything. <laughs> Oh, new peon. Immediately called, hey? Say so also <laughs> down to the last items. Alright, last moon will getting placed so bright, and then that's the alchemist back. Very expensive, but at least the alchemist has more items. Yeah, he's pretty much the last one with items. I really hope somehow, in some little corner of my mind, that say so is manipping us all. But I also don't believe that. Yeah, so Seizo thinks that he knows it, but... <laughs> oh man, Seizo. Zed Carter, thank you very much for the sub! Is correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess Stein is going to move after Alchemist is back. Like, he should be the first one to move. Yeah. I guess it's kind of Seiso's fault that he didn't move earlier, because he backstabbed him the second he wanted to move. I mean, a disc would also be interesting for this game. A what? A disc? Yeah. No! Oh my god, I don't want to replay this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no not for replaying, but for... <laughs> Getting something done, progressing. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that would be progress. Yeah, that's right. I mean, eventually someone will disc, right? <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> that, that's kind of, yeah. <laughs> if, if nobody moves, at some point, someone will disc. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah. then I guess Tezo is in the best position because he's the farthest away located, so flying to Australia in order to get a disc is <laughs> going to be more expensive than from Poland to, uh, to Germany. Unfortunately, we have a we have a disconnect protection on War 3 Champions. Ay, ay, ay. Ten. <sighs> Too advanced. Yo, you know, guys, after three hours, like, you're running out of stuff to say. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So what's what's coming up next next week, W3 Champions? Well, tomorrow is an FFA. Okay. <laughs> if you want to go. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow evening is an FFA, F back to Warcraft FFA night. Very good. Can recommend. So who's going to cast it? That's a very good question. We might have to postpone this after today because we are obviously going to be busy casting this yeah. game still. Um, but yeah, I guess they can watch them back to Warcraft 2. <laughs> yeah, but who's going to cast that? That's a big question. We need a streamer for mm -hmm. that. Maybe I can get disengaged <laughs> or someone. He'll, he'll be fine. 
And apart from that, it's a pretty chill week. And then the we got the War 3 Champions Finals at the end of the week, starting Friday. Mm -hmm. Nice. So who's left in the solos? Everyone except Leon, Jens, Ice Orc, Yumiko, and Hawk. Okay, that's a lot. So left is Colorful, <laughs> Moon, Kaho, Starbuck, Labyrinth, Shao Kai, um, Happy, Focus, Sonic, and Dice. I think I got them all. Mm, that was nice. Yes, very... Oh, Sock! Sock! I forgot about Sock. Yo, this is gonna be hyped. Friday is gonna be sick. Saturday also, but Friday a little sicker than Saturday, in my opinion. <laughs> Say the asking if oh, Friday yeah. is an island. <laughs> that is like five islands. <laughs> you shouldn't you shouldn't worry about Grady's Island. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You should worry about Stein Island. Grady is uh, never... yeah. Oh, is he lying? Oh my god. Why isn't Grady saying, no, I don't have my army anymore, he killed it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, this please. Was... All dead. Yeah. Maybe that's where <laughs> the English comes in. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, but the Zeppelin might be in trouble now. Oh. Yep, 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 oh. yep, yep. Stein moves! A moving Stein, a rock golem, basically. Ah. Yep, that's what you get for typing too much. <laughs> he just makes a new one, but no, nah, with the Zeppelin? Okay, maybe. Uh, if you only knew who the yep. idiot here is. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, at this point, this kind of has to be a man of, but, but what does he want to accomplish with that? I don't know. I'm no, getting a no, bit I frustrated. Don't think it is. I really don't think it is. Like. Yeah, Stein has good info. Grady, of course, perfect info. Man, he went there, but he di didn't scout it, I'm not sure. What? Like, three mirror images walking there, and not going for the tree. It's kind of weird. You know, in some FFA games, you really w wish there would be a Dennis, who just fucks shit up. This and Dennis is... also has a lot of time, to be honest. Right? Like... Sit and, and a lot of cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the... he'd do something. This this game needs a Dennis. <sighs> anyone. Anyone. <laughs> I was joking if we are done by 1 a.m. And I guess the, t the clock is ticking. Uh, yeah, 15 minutes. I mean, Stein could at least make the panda ultimate and just go with with the invisible storm panda and just chip damage away the great hall. That just goes to show how important this map is to all the players, everybody. It's true, yeah. It's actually true. Like a ladder game, no one would care here to stay. Yeah. Except for Stein and Gradient. Yeah. I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> 
So why does he want the forest to be open and where? Yeah, here he wants... Grain wants that Stein opens the forest here so that they can attack from two sides. Ah. But yeah, I mean, everyone knows that if they lose a hero here now, they uh, pretty much lost a lot of their win chances. So yeah, yeah. It's even risky to go with a tornado here for Gradient and for a keeper here for Stein. But Stein seems to be moving out here finally. With Whoa. a Zeppelin. All three heroes in it. Like whatever the move is, it's going to have a huge butterfly effect. And this will accelerate yeah. things. It's just the question what the move is and who does it. Unfortunately, the guy who's supposed to make the move is Stein. And he's like, he wears this name for a reason and doesn't <laughs> exactly. move too much. <laughs> yeah. Did he use the Panda Ultimate once in three hours? Did we see the Panda Ultimate? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm really not sure about it. Right? I don't think so. Yeah, well, he's going to open the forest. So I guess that's going to be it. He's just going to open it and then he says, "I'm, my job is done here. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> is Grady trying to bait him into that position? No, right? He doesn't want to risk that piece. Mm. Nope. I think we could all, <laughs> chat is saying, I think we can all agree Eranicus is the real winner here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> oh, Pion oh, died. Pion died. Pion died against the Four Lightning. Yeah, that's a big deal at this point, of course, everything. Um, but yeah, now the forest should be open with this keeper. And now Trians can get in from the bottom as well. All right, Grady, you wanted this. Now do it. Yeah, but of course Stein doesn't tell Grady. Okay, Grady should see it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was there. There's a couple of houses there. But the fun, funny thing is that it's, it doesn't really help Grady a lot. The, the, the forest is open. <laughs> you can't do yeah, anything more now. <laughs> that's why Stein did it like immediately. So, okay, if he sends in Treants a hundred times more. Yep. And Seiso seems to. Funny mm -hmm. development by, by Seiso from just chill. And he'll suicide to okay, kill it. <laughs> yeah. I still okay, but great also has to think like how he can win. I mean, shouldn't be. I mean, if Gradient knows that there's so many islands. I don't know what to do then. I don't know. I don't know how anyone but Stein is winning this game. Yeah, I mean, if Seizu and Gradient team up, Seizu moving north, so now he sees at least one of the 10 islands <laughs> of Stein. All right, so now Seizu is gone and no one is interested to take it anymore. <laughs> Maybe Gradient yeah, now goes. Might be thinking that this is a trap or something. Could very well be. Okay, he claims Gradient his island had... now. <laughs> At least something's happening. Something's happening. Yeah. And yeah, Kratis 
That's nice progress. I like everything. Yep, I mean, here we go. This might seriously be the first development in an hour. Yeah. And uh, as I said, like, it could be that Sace is leaving the game any second, just out of spite. Oh, yes, great! Baby. He says it! <laughs> it says it's gonna read or is it too busy typing now? I guess the letter. Oh please, oh please, oh please. Nothing is moving. Literally on the map, nothing is moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want long game. Oh my okay, god. Stein said, Stein said the word and even yep. put the joke on top. So is Saison now leaving? Is Saison now leaving? <laughs> Just say the word and I'm yeah. gonna kill myself. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. I guess Saison wants to bait. Stein's position. Oh my god. One is camping in the north, one is camping in the south, one is camping at the upper left. What's this problem? What's supposed to happen? And if only says on you about gradients not having an army. He said it, he didn't believe. Yeah, and now there's a situation where Stein seriously can't kill Seiso's island. Well, he has four chimeras, should be easy. But you lost since two buildings per island? Is that a rule? Nope. No rules. That's only for FML, but not for double free champions. I guess you have to tell them. Oh, the gradient has three buildings for like one and a half hours. <laughs> I guess you have to tell them in Discord or something. Yeah, I just do. True. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy indeed. And, and of course, also Stein saw that. Yeah. Uh. Guys, this is no fun for all of us. We're with you. We're with you. It's the same for us as well. There's great FFAs that are better than any blockbuster, and then there's this FFA. Yeah, I, and oftentimes Seizo is in it. That's right. <laughs> there's a... Uh, I don't know. Somehow one said, oh, the FFAs with the Seiso are always great because one game with him was great. And this is getting repeated over and over and over. <laughs> and it's really, it's seriously not true. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really hope that we, got, we get a quicker game with this lineup. So yeah, there was a lot of hope and the game was really cool for like a lot of, a long time. Like yeah. we never know what happened. And then yeah. players decided to be pretty stubborn and judge 
game states that are one hour ago and they don't have a scout and still think they know it all. <laughs> oh my god, now they're not restarting the game! <laughs> That looks like Google Translate or Yandex Translate. <laughs> All right, <laughs> here we go. You know, there's times where behind every move, I suspect some sort of manip and like, something smart in this game i think it's just dumb <laughs> like this is there's no reason behind things it's just it's just boys being boys yeah yeah now i'm i'm not even sure what's gradient's what gradient's plan here is honestly well losing the zeppelin was a start and a wisp that's gone and he's broke. Yeah. Progress, progress, all progress. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, they all have very limited information. Like, Raiden is not surprised that Stein has his heroes back. And Seizu also doesn't have the information. It's like one and a half hours where they don't realize that Stein is the threat. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, say the living in the past. Yo. Your island, yeah, and he has like five islands himself. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Oh boy. I really Ooh, and now he's diving for the Zeppelin. Ooh. Ooh boy, that wasn't too great. I think it was because now Seiso can't. Oh, is he stuck then? Can't win. <laughs> so I think that's. But can he thing. lose? <laughs> yeah, I mean, always against the tornado, for example. Oh, Seizo finally realized that Stein has air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but he still believes ah, that the island is fortified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, ah. it's the other way around. He thinks his air is too weak instead of too strong. Players' forces are under attack. Oh. Okay, nothing happens under really. siege. Yo, who's losing patience first? Who's losing patience? Yeah, I think now it should first. be moving a little bit quicker. Like who? The, um, the Treants. They go for the Moonwell. So Seiso could mirror image himself off the cliff, no? I don't think so, no. There is enough space on the island for the mirror image, so they mm. will always spawn there first. Okay. But I see one P and in the units tab true so there is a peon in somewhere on the map at least but the peon can't build anything <laughs> there is no way to get to sell an item anywhere <laughs> so the peon is totally useless oh camera moving left hand side Okay, progress, progress, progress. There's a tornado. <laughs> it's so funny how no one has any clue about yeah. anyone. Yeah, <laughs> no. that's, that's right. It's so weird. <laughs> and no one is saying anything like, says it doesn't even say that he lost his zeppelin or anything. Oh man. 
And yeah, Thank there you. we go. We have progress. That's the island. And that's the last buildings for Radiant. Oh my god. And then Cesar also will leave and Stein is going to be in the finals. Pretty sure. Grady has another wisp somewhere. Oh, we're also going for the tree. Okay, yep. Doesn't really now work. we have it all. So uh, the game will end in the next five minutes because Seizo is crippled. He can't do anything. It's, it's pretty much a 1v1 now. All right. Finish line, boys. Finish line. Pandas here. Heroes are here. Let's have a Royal Rumble. Zeppelin. Could be attacked. Oh, there's I no guess. TP for Stein. Wait a minute. What? No. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Wait, the Zeppelin. Kill the Zeppelin. Kill the Zeppelin. Oh kill my god, Zeppelin. what's he doing? What's he doing? Chimera gets the kill. Okay, tree down. Oh, okay, so he's going all in pretty much, Stein. And now he's evacuating. What the hell is that? So stupid. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, he's literally getting killed here by Stein and he says, or oh, Quince. Yeah. Uh, oh boy. Amazing. It amazing. is indeed amazing. Okay. That's it for Gradients. Well calculated. Gradient has been defeated. Down to the top two. <laughs> we wait for real. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. I, w I would have loved to see Seiso's face when the Lion yeah, Pier Gradient was defeated. Yeah. Wait, did I misread the game, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess it's just a question how we finish this. Mm, yep. It's the end. Guys, the end is coming near. Tranquility, we get the army in range. Oh boy. It's ending. It's ending. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, oh my. I hear how tired you are. Ah. Oh, to be honest, I'm also very happy that there's no Asian Warcraft tomorrow and I don't have to get up. <laughs> Stein is enjoying this so much. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The hunt, the hunt rush, the hunt rush, the they hunt rush. Exactly. I really want to see Seiso's face when he realized that like not a single unit was lost. But imagine if he micros his way out. Of that air army. <laughs> it's it's Stein after all, okay. It's yeah, Stein maybe. after all. Maybe. That would be the throw of the century, oh come But on. I think even Breath of Fire can reach up there, so let's see. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're here. It's all assembled. 
Ready to be served. Do it. Pull the trigger. I don't think he does it. I guess he's gonna kill him with acid bombs, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No, 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 no! Don't, don't! I have no idea at this point. Okay, no, chimeras are still coming across the map. Cobwebs oh, everywhere. Chimeras haven't moved in three hours. There is, there's still this disconnect potential, keep in mind. Don't, don't, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> He's seriously just acid bombing away. I can't believe this is real. There's another hippo coming. And another. And another. He's waiting for the anti-air units when there's... No air units. <laughs> Come on. Stein, do me a favor. Oh, he found one more Chimera. I, I want to watch WrestleMania finish this! I guess we can start the outro already, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you want to be part of this exciting FFA scene after what you've seen today, <laughs> join the Discord, ffamastersleague.net or something. I'm so bored, I forgot the link. Next week's going to be better. Yeah, I mean, the, the grand final is going to be very, very, very nice. So, yeah. <sighs> Stein, I beg you. He's moving back. He's... What is he doing? What is he... What... What is he doing? Oh, I see people are leveling up in Star Trek Fleet Commander. Someone reached level 5, GG, that's great. <laughs> no. Yeah. Anything that you want to say to the viewers while we're still here? Um, hmm. Good. I mean, we had a lot of time. We mentioned pretty much everything already. Um, you know. Finals gonna be good next Saturday. Uh, with Lelu, with Todd. Hopefully with Still. That would be sick. Yeah, I really hope for that. Yep. I mean, it could be very well that we then have a very short final. Because those are two very aggressive players. They exactly the opposite of what we've seen today. So yeah, FFA has a lot of faces as you might know if you're watching for the first time, then I guess you might not. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, Tots and still both known to be very aggressive players. They are even in the freeway, they are just most of the time killing the the remaining player and go for a 1v1 because they feel so confident in it. So yeah, could very well be that we, that we are going to see that. Um, but yeah. Uh, you never know what you get with the FFA. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Sometimes yep. first good, then bad. Sometimes first bad, then good. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's find out what's which one of those is going to be today. Well, I guess we did figure it out already. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I guess we said it at the beginning of the game, right? That 
FFA can uh, always maybe be that's everything. Maybe it'll be a super exciting, unexpected endgame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's like this endgame. I'm at the edge of my seat. Yep. Have you ever left a game before it was over? Because you knew it was over? I don't think so, no. I don't know. Now I need AI Neo that could just take over the broadcast. That would be that would be the greatest. <laughs> like an answering machine at the telephone. I mean oh god, if oh my god if Sesa wins this now. Just imagine that if Sesa wins this now. Oh my god, I, oh my god, please don't. You know, usually I, I really, really love my job. Today, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> today it's rough. <laughs> Even with you by my side. It's really rough. Man, imagine I had to solo cast this, I would have... Then I would have probably left. Without you, I would have probably left at some point. Yeah. What if I leave, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Uh. What is he... What are they doing? It's not... The situation isn't changing. Is it? No. I guess you gotta prepare yourself mentally to a actually do something in this game. After just picking your nose for one and a half hours. This game will never end. Move, 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 move. Okay. Okay, the end is coming. It's nice. two buildings. Here we go. Attack one more building. Kill it. Stein. What? Do it. What the hell? Attack the war mill. Imagine, imagine Sasa survives this. Just imagine he survives this. Ah, it's, it's enough. There's the ultimate. I know, I know. Oh my god, it's over finally! Stein is in the final, deservedly so. Horrible game, but a great evening with you, <laughs> Rulers. The, I gave you the chance already to go for the final words. I'm off. Have a wonderful WrestleMania. We see each other tomorrow for. Uh, the Back to Warcraft FFA night, I cannot wait um, for to cast more FFA. The final is going to be great. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. I have no idea why you were still watching and why you were here with us. But yeah, you, see, you, you know what they say, if the semi-final is bad, the grand final is going to be great. And that's what we're hoping for. Rula, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Bye.